Funk Flex, I'm here. Now listen, you know, sometimes we do our little we got a story to tell segment. <laughs> and it's very appropriate that I have my man Irv Gotti. Yeah, yeah. The amount of millions. I'm back in the building. Well, you know, Gotti, when we talk of records and sales. I have right? a lot. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, my first one is Murder Inc. by itself. Yes. How many has sold how many records you think? The record label Murder Inc. is the last I looked, which was mad years ago, was at 35 million. 35 million records. Now, the, re the reason why I just million. asked for Murder Inc., Gotti, is <laughs> Worldwide. because now the people you're affiliated with, <laughs> yes, those millions, how many of those records you think are out there? Oh, if, if, oh the, gee, like that's that's a lot, yo. Like real talk. Dog, DMX. I, yeah, I know what you're saying. I, I'm, I'm going to put it on. Jay-Z. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. It's probably in a, a hundred million. I, I'm, um, it's a lot of records. If you want to, if you want to put it like that, like you know, with the people that I was affiliated with, yeah, it's, it's a lot, yo. So, um, it's a lot. I'm gonna, you just I'm gonna me say, zone out yeah, like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, because I always remember as I do these things, things we're gonna we're gonna talk about the millions, and we're gonna talk. Of course, we got the BT <laughs> show. I remember seeing D and Uh, no, it was D. Because do you remember DMX had a record? It was Born Loser. Born Loser. I was on, on WB. On Rough House Sony. Rough House Sony. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you, it was on a black label before you that had with Gray Writing. You had it before with your Rough House. And I was on BLS at the time. Wow, that's 19, right. That record wow. was out in 1990. Yeah. Then I saw D. There used to be this place in Yonkers that made sandwiches. <laughs> I know the place that you're talking about. It's in the hood over there. Like they, and then we I used, live, to, I we used to all go there for the sandwiches. Absolutely. Yes. So, so I live four blocks down. And I remember, because I don't, I don't think I saw you. I remember D said to me, no, why? Why said, yo, Flex, I got this meeting <laughs> up at Def Jam, I think. I don't know if he knew. Did he know you before that meeting? Nah, nah. He said it was uh, it's Irv Gotti. I'm gonna see what he's talking about. <laughs> oh no, no, no. He knew me by then. Okay, yeah, he knew me by then. So he said I'm gonna have his meeting. He says, yeah. you know, I, he was very honest. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know if it's an auction. Right, I'm just right. Go up there. Once I got to Def Jam, the funny thing, the funny story with that is, once I got to Def Jam, the very first meeting that we had, the very and they was telling me what are my duties as an A and R director. When they finished having me and telling me that, I said we well, gotta sign DMX. Mm. True story. They was like, what? They says, no, you have to get... I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I said, I want to sign DMX. And they all looked at me crazy. The other ill stories, I left Def Jam for like two weeks. Why? Thought they was well, whack. Yeah. They, wasn't, well, yeah. they wasn't letting me sign in like 96. 96 when I started there. They wasn't letting me sign DMX. So I was like, yo, I'm out. And Leo called me and he was like, yo, what are you doing? I said, yo, y'all corny, yo. I said, y'all ain't let me do what I want to do. I'll take my chances in the street. So Leah says, no, come up come up to the office. I said, you have to come back. So when I came back, he called the people that was above me in the office, and he said, no one mess with Gotti. Gotti to answer to me and Kevin Lyles, and that's it. And he basically, when he did that, he, like, unleashed the cage and let me out of the cage. DMX <laughs> was a, a, not weird, but it was very... Unorthodox, super unorthodox. Like I did not see it. I didn't see it. I didn't understand it. You know, I seen it early. Yo. He and Wa were good at explaining it, mm -hmm. and 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 you know they had so much respect in the community. Right. So and so you know you trusted their opinion. Yeah. And I remember when you were into it. And if I'm right, <laughs> the DMX get at me dog was a freestyle yes. on clue tape. Yes. Absolutely. When Clue was on hot. Yeah. And, 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 and he may not have been on the radio yet. He, you know, he had a slot. He had a Monday night slot and then, and after then, you. And and then that but that 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 mix was on the clue on the clue tape. That's what I heard it. You know the funny thing back then is like you it, it was a start to get you to get you going. It was, it was a good thing to be on the clue tape. Oh, it was absolutely Especially it was mandatory. Like, it was mandatory. And top three to five songs. You oh, understand? And you, you had to be there. There were many conversations that I was like, yo. 
Yo, top three. Oh, I ain't giving it to you. Yeah. You if you were, if you were, once you got down to eight. <laughs> it's no good. It's no, no good. Fabulous. <laughs> you should write Clue a $10 million check. <laughs> Fab was top five. All day. Yo. All day. To a point. And the Clue tape was so important that the minute you saw Oh, fat. Oh, he's oh he's it. He's it, yeah. Because all you had to do was be top five. But you're absolutely right. The the freestyles with X in the locks. Yes. And I needed a single. Nobody believes me, Gotti, when I say when the locks first... The reason why Sheik was on that record and not Styles and Jada, because Styles and Jada didn't have the heat yet. Sheik had the heat at first. I'm gonna be, here's the honesty. Keep it a buck. I'm, you want to keep it a yeah. buck? We was in Chung King Studio. If you know Chung King Studio, it was right next door to Def Jam. Okay. So we needed a single. We had all this energy. We needed a single, and everyone loved the freestyle. So me and Darren, me and D, went to Chung King, and I said, Joe, I got an idea. Let's make the freestyle a single. And we knew all X's lyrics. So we said, yo, this will be the first verse, this will be the second. And I said, Joe, what's the hook? I said, yo, let's use the get at me, what the deal? Darren came up with the hook. Uh-huh. Y'all niggas want to be killers. Get out of here. Yeah, we want to fill us. Get out of here. Y'all niggas want the rail. Get out of here. You know, rrr, rrr, what the deal? Okay. He came up with the hook, and we got Sheik in all honesty, because Darren said Sheik is the coolest, and he'll just come. Yeah, like, like but th- that- It had nothing to do with who is hotter. I oh, swear I, to God. No, because- It had nothing to do with who's hotter, who's sure. this. Sure. I'm, I'm telling you, Darren okay, was okay. like, yo, Gotti, I'm going to call Sheik because he'll just come. He said, if I call Raspy or, or Styles, they may be like, ah. Uh. They weren't on yet, though. Yeah, they was. They, was, they, they, they had was music moving. already? Yeah, Benjamin's was out. Benjamin's, the locks, which was, was hotter than X. Wait, yes, they were hotter than X, but- when when you did the song, right? Yeah. When the freestyle happened. Freestyle happened, it was just some rhyming. Who was on the freestyle? It was it was, it was the locks but, and X. And X ends the freestyle. Kiss had a verse on there? Kiss had a verse. I didn't even remember. Hundred percent. Kiss had a verse. Kiss it was the locks and X on the verse. And I was like, yo, we need to put someone on it. You know what I'm saying? On the on the hook and just on the record, we should use one of the locks. I knew of Sheik. Before Kiss and before Styles. Telling you, he was like, cause Sheik, Sheik, Sheik was the coolest. That, I, I, that's why like, I they all cool. Raspy's cool and Styles. You're just giving cool. a, you're just giving a a, a, a picture but, of what but it was. But Darren, like Darren was like, it'll be the easiest to get Sheik there, to, to get it popping. He said, if you want some, I'll call Sheik. He'll come right away and he'll do it. So now the song's done. What do you do with it? I went to Leo, busted open his. Did door. they understand it? Absolutely not. See, I, used, I only understood I used to put, it. Listen, I only understood absolutely it. not. I, I used to put triangles. Listen, I used to put a triangle with a five and put DMX's name in like Julie Greenwald's office and other people's offices. And they used to be like, who's going to buy his records? Gotti, dogs, chihuahuas. He's barking. Like they was clowning my man, yo. And But I was I stayed like leaving all of his my middle finger up. I'm like, he going to sell five. Nah. He sold more than five, actually. Only- he sold five in the States. He sold like another two, three outside the States. And then, you know. Now, Gotti, I wouldn't have known that that was moving because until I was playing the freestyle in the tunnel. Oh or else I wouldn't have known. The tunnel. I wouldn't have known that that record was moving. Like, the like, tunnel. like it, it was. It was, you know. You was on. The, you you broke the record, yo. Like you when get at me. Who knew what it was though? No, that, but you was on the freestyle. So when you got the record, you just said, "Let's go, let's go." And and that's really, he was born that night. Just that you know, you know they shot that in, in the, the tunnel. tunnel. And, come on, um, kid. Come on, a young kid. lady who worked. I'm gonna tell you something. Come on, at kid. T and I don't remember her name. Of course, you, I'm sure you know she's in charge at BAT. What's the young lady's name? Connie Orlando. You know she used to. Connie work, Orlando used to work with hype. So when she, me and her were talking tunnel, she, she was said, there. She, she was said, nigga. She was there. Yeah, I said, it was there that night. Yeah, she was. She did the production. She okay. did when hype's production company was called Big Dog Films. She was like she ran the company. He has the footage of the, the actual party that night. You know, playing. It's everything. ridiculous. It, like it's uh, ridiculous. Unreal. It's ridiculous. I, and, and you know, God, I, I know I'm skipping around a little bit because I know that it's all you know. Good. It's all good. First of all, Gotti, I know you have on top of the 35 million records being sold <laughs> for Murder Inc. 
Yes, for Murder, Inc. 100 million affiliated. I like that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know you have a new situation with 300 Entertainment. Yes, with Leo and Kev. Yes, big shout to 300. We was up there today with my artist, Boogie Bird, Fitted Circle, and Alexa. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a real... I feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? Flex he came in and he it. said, Joe, and he's just laughing because I said, Joe, everything is great. <laughs> it's a blessing, my brother. Yeah, it's, blessing. it's blessing. It's like God. It's like we could get into spiritual shit. You now, <laughs> yeah. I know, and you have the TV show that's The TV on series, B, on, Tales, on, on June 27th, BET. I promise you, everyone who's listening, it's going to be the illest show that you've seen. I promise you. I'm not a liar. I swear. Exciting. It take, The show, the premise of the show, Flex, is I take hip-hop songs, and through the inspiration of the hip-hop songs, I create a one-hour scripted episode. Mm. In some cases, like the premiere, it's two hours. First episode, N.W.A. F the police, right? Clean. Clean. And I'd create a storyline based on that concept. And I'm telling y'all, when y'all watch it, I dare y'all to not love it. Like, like you know, I like, I, I'm, I feel weird because I know I got something. And, and I know I got though, something really, yeah, I got something really, 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 really great. And that's what got me, it's crazy, because everyone's like the relaunch and the murder ring and everything like that. They like, you know, what, what happened? Tales. Because I had to put music in Tales. So here it is, me and my dog, Ching Santana, and we're making- say music, is it new music or is it licensed music? No, see, that's the thing. BT didn't give me a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I could only license the song that we're inspired to make. You know, I'm like NWA, after I licensed that record because that's what the episode is about. But I couldn't license if I wanted to license like Kanye or whatever like that, a song, you know, can't tell me nothing. I can't do it mm -hmm. because I don't have the money. So it forced me to have to go in the studio and make the records that I'm going to play in the episode. It forced me. So then me and Chink is doing that. Flex, I'm sitting around. I got hundreds of beats that's dope. And I'm like, this shit is dope. I need a rapper. I need someone to, to 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 compliment it. And that's when you know what I'm saying. I started looking, and it fell in my lap. But that's why I'm like, yo, this is very godly. It's God's plan because I wasn't gonna relaunch Murder Rank. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't anything. And it just kind of organically happened because of this TV series. I had to do the music. The shit was coming out hot. I needed artists to get on these records. I didn't want to just play instrumentals out through, throughout the whole series. And yo, God blessed me with Boogie. He blessed me with Fitted, and he blessed me with Alexa. It's like these 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 people were so talented. So now I'm running back in the studio, and that's what I like to tell people. I'm like, yo, artists, be like, come on, God, he do. It. I'm like, I need inspiration. So now when I got these artists, I'm running back to the studio because I want to see right, what they're going to do on these records that I got. You know what I'm saying? Like I hit Alexa like every other, like, every, oh, I'm sending you this joint. I'm sending you that. And then she's sending them back, killing them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She rap and sing too okay. from Long Island. Rap what and sing. West Hempstead. Okay, okay. Yeah, West Hempstead. Yeah. Another Long Island uh, female singer with Irv Gotti. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take that. I yeah. forgot that you know, yeah, yeah. you're from Queens. Nah, nah, I'm from Queens. Right, but right, nah, right. but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's crazy that God just put these talented people in my life. Now, you got the 35 million records sold. <laughs> I, I like to 100 go, million a, affiliated. 100 million affiliated <laughs> by far. You know, yeah. God is a lot of people I wouldn't have known uh and in a good in a great way, you know, uh because I the one thing I always felt about you, Gotti, is whether you were affiliated with it or not, you always told the truth of what was hot and passed it on. Yes. Um, I ain't no nigga. I remember you. If you remember that day, let's see. Let's see All if right. you remember that I'm gonna day. I'm going to tell you. Because I, I remember it like I it was yesterday. Said, I might have said. When did I give you the record? You gave it to me, White Label. White uh, Label. White Where label. was you at when I handed it? I don't remember where I remember I either said I didn't have it or I had the instrumental and oh, I didn't have a clean. Listen, I didn't have it. Listen, we, we, because I knew you like cars. I'm going to give you the backstory okay, of okay. how my crazy brain to yes. break Jay Z and Ain't No Nigga and Rockefeller. So we, I said, Joe, because normally how I was giving Flex Records. Like Mike Gerano, I would camp out at 1372 Broadway and wait. We should do that wait. story first. 
and you wait that, for my that, man to wait. come. He drove a Lincoln uh, LSC, L- the 5.0, the black joint. The black with joint. The rag. With the black. I and I knew, hold it, hold it, hold it. And I knew he had an aff- uh, affection for cars. So when I gave him the Ain't No Nigga record, I had a Lexus GS300. Jay-Z had a Lexus Poppin'. GS300. Big Dame, body. Dame Dash had a Lexus GS300. And Biggs had the Act Legend Coupe. Mm. So I said, Key. we're going to go up there and put our hazards on and wait for Flex. And that's exactly what we did. And when uh, Flex came, I you, said, you Flex. You had Dame with you. Did I had you, Dame with me. That's right. Me. That's right. And I gave him the record. I said, this is Rockefeller. These buck dudes about Dame. fucking ill I wasn't fucking with Dame because, nah, we're going to keep it real. Don't get nervous, guys. Dame made no, me no, an no, no. asshole. I love, no, no, no. I love, God. I love Dame's energy. Right. But he was coming off a couple bricks. The original flavor. He was coming off a couple. No, like he was coming off some bricks. And I think you had like. You had said to me, though, know, like this is it. This is it. And this is it. And I was, I pitched you and basically said, these guys in Rockefeller Records are the real deal, which they are. Yes. I said, they really the guys at the club with the Cristal, no, buying it out. The persona of their image. And I was puff are. daddied out at the time. You was puff daddied out. You was shiny suit out. I, I, I was, was trying to puff daddy. You was puff daddied like, out. Rightfully yeah. so though, because no, Diddy, but it was, but it was, it was, wow, yeah, you know it was, it was it, but it was crazy. It, it was, was crazy. it was insane. It was Puff's town. At the but time. you know, listen, listen, I'm, I'm giving too much secrets about Flex because I know. Say the other reason why I like that record, because I also knew Flex likes break beats. Oh, love him. The, the, He's a real DJ. I forgot who what likes has, to rub and break spin. That was. It was seven rum, dun 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 seven funk. funk. And I said, he's gonna like this fucking. You wanna hear the crazy shit? The crazy shit on that record is that really was never gonna be their single. Mm. They was running with dead presidents. Absolutely. Because there was no clean you know to who that helped on the, on the beat side. There was no clean to it, which is a they didn't was Cap was super. They wasn't concerned about it. And I really pressed them. To put ain't no nigga out, and this is right. This is just a true story. But what happened was, I had a copy of it, and around that time, all out, it was me, my man BJ, and my man Kenneth Supreme McGriff. Yes, mm-hmm. the myth, right? And we was riding around, and that's all we played. So Preem really was like pioneered that record. He loved the line, "Weapons can say what the fuck y'all fear. If y'all niggas play sick, we could all get ill. What the deal?" He's like, "Man, Jay, vicious man. He's a vicious motherfucker, man. Right?" So he was amped, and he was like, "All that's all when we ride. That's all we listen to." So I would take that to 17 John Street. And I'm like, yo, y'all gotta put this record out. And through a couple times, and then saying, yo, I, yo, let's go up to Flex. They said, fuck it. And we gave Flex. It was a white label. But no. if you look at the official single, it's no, no clean version. When you gave on me it. the white label. I don't think, I don't think, I don't know if I did I blast it the same day. You blasted that day. Now, you yeah. and and you went. You listen, not only did you play, you I'm went. Gonna, remember, I'm gonna tell you something. You went I'm like you, you went. went. I was like, no. ah! I don't remember when I came down to see and I said, yo. Cap was playing, playing the dirty, the dirty in the tunnel, in the tunnel. And I said, and I said, I said, yo, I was gonna, I wanted this. I, wanted I ain't gonna this. lie to Eva. R.I.P. My nigga Cap, because Flex, I used to. If you really knew the system, you got to you, Cap first. If you couldn't get to the big dog, you get to Cap and say, "Come on, Cap," because Flex will watch Cap because he time. opened up for him at tunnel. the tunnel. So he would see what he was playing, and if it was moving and right and he's looking, you was in there. <laughs> when Cap was playing the Ain't No Nigga, I was in the booth, first time I heard it, and he's throwing that shit to the top, and the words didn't even come. I said, nigga, what the fuck is, is that? that? He's like, Jay-Z, yo. Jay-Z, yo. <laughs> <laughs> the words flew in. I was like, and it wasn't even crowded. It was like 200, and them niggas was like, <laughs> yes, I give me this, give me this, and then he said, "There's no clean." I was like, and I kind of forgot, and you came to see me that week. Came to see you and gave you the white label. And he gave me the and white label, was, and, and we went. To me, in my opinion, my humble opinion, mm-hmm. Rockefeller was born. Oh, absolutely, and that I, night. And I want to tell you something about Rockefeller Dame Rockefeller was born I'm, that night. I'm gonna tell you something about Dame Dash, because a lot of people clown him, and 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 shit on him. Yeah. And I want to tell you something about Dame Dash. I know, you know what it is. I know the young era is not used to the arrogance and the, and that energy. Yeah. 
But I remember because after. No one is used to Dame's energy. No, because, <laughs> because Gotti, after that, you gave me the record. You kind of passed me to them. Yeah. And I introduced you to all of them. And, and I may not have. And I'll be honest. Yeah. I think that record I was super big on, and I may not be. Uh, I wasn't as aggressive with the Reasonable Doubt album. I was I was super aggressive with that song, and as we moved on. But Dame always did something. If he saw me someplace, he always said, "Sleeping." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Dame. <laughs> Dame Dash always said, "You sleeping?" No, nah, but you was on Brooklyn's Finest. I was on Brooklyn's Finest. You Had just you, wasn't I, on the singles. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was but on. But you, the you, you gave him. You're right. You gave him play. But yo, you was on Brooklyn's Finest. And, and so, so, but, but with Dame, you know, I always want people to understand. Irv Gotti and Dame Dash during this time. This was notorious yeah. B.I.G. city and it was burning hot and it was very hard to get things off the ground. So it ain't just Jay-Z lifted off. Jay-Z lifted off in between Dre and Snoop and and Big and Mace. I'm gonna there tell was you, a lot of heat out here. Listen, I'm gonna tell you another honest shit. I, I didn't want Jay to do Brooklyn's Finest. I liked it. I like well, no did because you want I didn't want Jay to do Brooklyn's Finest because Big was so strong, and I was like, "Yo, like you may come off like his little man," and I'm like, "You not his little man. You iller than that." And then yeah, he was like, "Gotti, I'm telling you, I'm I'm gonna hold it down or whatever." It turned out I was wrong because Brooklyn Finest well, is a is a they immortal. went bar for bar. It's, so it, they it, was it, going at each other too. Don't ever think it, otherwise. It was, it was, yeah, but Let was, me tell you something about me and my niggas. Let me tell you something about me and my niggas at that point of our lives and careers. It was blood sport. If you was on a record with them, they was a hundred percent. They was going at you, especially X. <laughs> That pull it record was a classic session. That's when I first met Un and Cam is in there, and X was at the the thing writing his lyrics, and I'm like, "Get him, boy, sick him, boy," and they laughing at me, and I'm like, "Yo, get these niggas." You, you understand? To. Yeah, you it's to. blood sport. That record, remember, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Remember, that's when you had the most classic freestyles: Cannabis, X, yeah. and Nori, yeah. and it was like, yo, the whole city was on lock, and I was in it like, yo, because everyone was like X and Cannabis. I was like, get this nigga right now, yo, right you know, now. You know, Big Pun was downstairs, security didn't let him up. You serious? Dead ass. Oh Big my Pun god. Big Pun was downstairs. That would have been up. immortalized. Pun was on that warm line phone. Flex, please. Oh, you had the whole city. The whole city. He was like, please. I was like, Pun. yo, but you know we did a cipher with Pun. Oh, no, we did no, no, a no. cipher with Pun and Cannabis on some other shit with X. We was just making our rounds because X just wanted any time was round, he wanted to get it in, right? So it didn't matter. Let's go. So we did a cipher with them and with Pun, but Pun, Pun just was special, yo. Mm. Like Pun was, was special. Absolutely. Pun was special. Like cannabis, cannabis was special too. But I was like, eh, maybe, maybe not. Cannabis you know didn't. <laughs> cannabis is amazing lyricist that didn't didn't concentrate on all of the aspects of the game, like hook writing and everything. Songs else. still great. He didn't yeah. go, and, and I think he dropped some immortal fucking verses, man. And 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 and, 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 and cannabis, I love you, my brother. Yeah, I, I, I love wanna, cannabis too. And I think, but the LL battle was a little bit too much for him. Right. And I think that people didn't expect L to handle it the way he handled it. <laughs> right. And I think cannabis got distracted time wise right. in doing that. But but all Instead of, listen, all the, the, the problem with all the battle rap dudes, because I I watched him, I love the the battle rap thing, like Murder Mook, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan of his too. Yeah, I love Murder Mook. But they have to all battle rap, and I'm not saying this for any other reason except it's the truth. If you're listening to me, I want y'all to win. But y'all have to know what's battle rap and then what's hit records. You gotta make hit records. I wanna ask you something. Would there Don't make been, a hit records, would, no one cares. Would Rockefeller have been so successful without Dame Dash? Because you know that's always the question now, 2017. I'm gonna Abs give mine. Absolutely not. I, I agree. I do not think. I think his Listen, energy. Even, even Biggs. Like, even Biggs. I can't his say. His energy. I can't say Biggs wasn't an important piece. I didn't know Biggs well. Yeah, he was just, but Biggs used to be in there. Biggs was like a flavorful dude, yo. So in the studio, he knew the hot shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hip-hop is his brother, you know? So they knew. They real brothers? Yes, that's his I little brother. That. And it's like, 
he knows how people never talk about Biggs, but Biggs was an incredible piece to the puzzle. He just wasn't the money and, and you know, that that thing. He was in the studio and like when Jay said hot shit, yo, go with that. Or, I ain't really feeling that. Always kept it real. He was an important piece to the puzzle too. Dame was just so just like Dame is like it's like how I consider myself. You ever see the movie I Am Legend? Dame is like that zombie. I, I I'm like that zombie. No, at the end, and he, Will's like, I can help you, and he doesn't give a he fuck. Would, Dame He's coming. Make you, I'm coming through the window. I'm coming. He would make you feel ridiculous if you didn't know about Jay Z. He'd right. be like, he was so Rockefeller or or nothing. I just wish absolutely. sometimes I talk. But I tell you what, I appreciated about him too. He never Dame Dash never downplayed or disrespected any other organization. He would no. just say his shit was the shit. Right, but that he didn't... Would, he niggas wanted, don't he do wanted, no he more. He niggas to get money, too. You know what I'm saying? It was very... And, and you know, it's crazy, because when we talked about the tunnel and everything like that, when you look back at that time, when you look back at that time, it was a time where a bunch of real niggas was getting a lot of money. Yeah, okay. So we was like... I, I wanted everyone to get money. I, I, I even to this day, this, I never hate on anyone that's doing it. I congratulate them, high five, do it, do it, do it. Because on on a black level, we all come from like the hood. I want niggas to win and put more niggas on, yeah. So, <laughs> it, 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 Irv Gotti had mentioned Mike Geronimo, My and G. I, I want to tell you something, New York. <laughs> I'm a, no, I think I know I, if I got this story right. I want to get the years right. Is this what ninety three? 90, like 92, 92 93. 93, yes. So Ron G. Ron G. Was on WBLS was every on. day at 8 o'clock. I'm on my way to work because at the time I didn't come on to 10. Was he on every day? He was on every day. Okay. And he's playing this record, the instrumental first. And I'm like, damn, this Denise shit's Williams. Da, 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 and then I hear Mike Geronimo da, da, da. come in. And I'm like, damn. For the fam. <laughs> and I'm like, crazy ass queens. Cranking. And maybe, I don't know if I said it on the radio or I said I don't got this record or I, I don't know how me and you linked. And I think I came out the studio, the station was 1372 Broadway. 1372 Broadway. And, and I'll be honest, you might have had a hoodie or you was definitely in the cut. It might have been raining was, or something. I was in the cut. So I was like, damn, man, this nigga running up on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but that that's an ill story and that goes to all of y'all out there. That's exactly how I got on. So, you know what I'm saying? I understand. And you might have had the, the record struggle. with you. I had the it record. It was a black with me. label. It was a black label. It was a black said, label, and I gave you the record. And it had great writing on it. I remember. Great writing. Yo, he remembered. And he played the record, and everyone, I came up to the station like every day for like a good two weeks. And I gave him, I kept giving him two copies of the record, and I was saying, Flex, you're changing my life. Thank you, man. I wasn't Irv Gotti. I was just Irv. No. I wasn't Irv Gotti. DJ I was Irv, DJ Irv. Irv. I remember. Yo. <laughs> DJ Irv. Irv, I remember. I wasn't Irv Gotti at this point, ladies and gentlemen. I was just Absolutely. DJ Irv, and I kept giving the record and saying, telling them he's saving my life. And I think after the third or fourth day, you looked at me and said, Joe, I like the record. We're good. Right? We're, we're flowing. <laughs> but you gave me Yo, another record. It, you gave it, me another record that. that he made. I gave I'm so fly. <laughs> you so high. That Yo. was so, so nasty, right? <laughs> That's Buck Wild too. Buck Wild made that beat and everything. It was like in, it was like intoxicating. Oh yo. my and god! And then my man Hype Willie with the video. Pull that up on YouTube. Oh, the if weed, you're home. the weed smoke. We, we, no, what we did, we blurred out half the screen. So when the camera was moving and it got to that half, it was blurred out. Oh. It was insane. So much drugs. Go to YouTube and and, and go look at that Master IC video. So it's, now it's 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 it's, it's incredible. So yo, we have Irv Gotti indie. Now you get to TVT. Is it TVT's label? Yes, TVT. Steve now, Gottlieb. Mike Geronimo is moving. His, Mike Geronimo his swag is moving. and everything. He wasn't moving with me, though. This is the real shit. What was his big good. record? The one with Puff. The one with Puff was a uh, 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 move or something. Move. Big something. record. It was a big record. But here, I'm going to give you the Mike G story when we're talking. Mike, Mike Geronimo. G, who's is, from Queens? Who's from Queens and is my guy. Mike, you can hit me up. Big ups to Mike. But if we're keeping it real, 100. Listen, as I do with you, if you look at Mike Geronimo's first album, it was only two records I produced. Mike Geronimo, It's Real, and then It's Time to Build with DMX, Ja, and Jay Z. Mm, they was he, on that album back then. Yes. He 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 he. I had them because I was I've been with them forever. So I. That, but the, here's the thing. 
He wasn't really. They were big. With me. Mike Geronimo was bigger than me. He was bigger than hundred percent bigger at the time. A uh, one million wow. percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he wasn't fucking with me on my production, really. You know what I'm he saying? He it. wanted like he wanted the Nas producers. He wanted like Pete Rock and and Q Tip and the extra P Large Professor. Which is tough. They was tough. I can't I can't knock him, but he just stopped fucking with me and. But you were still what you were still executive producing the project? Yeah, because I I I, I made myself, I strong armed it. I said, you gonna you know what I'm saying? I'm not going away. I put you on, so I'm not going away. But I didn't do nothing other other records. But in the beginning, Which I did not know. listen, when you played the record and I made the video and Hype William shot the video, I didn't have him signed. I just okay. was moving on niggas. You, shit. you learned a lot. Yeah, well, I still be moving like that. When Ashanti, when Ashanti's record was going crazy, I didn't have her signed. Okay. okay. I just be moving, yo, and like, yo, it's love. It's love. We rock, we rocking, and we go. But it came back to bite me in the ass with Mike because he started acting funny and was gonna do the deal straight with TVT and like X you had to me slow out. Him up. You slowed him up, but you, all you, the way up. And then you guys, you guys <laughs> patched up. Then we somewhat patched up, but I, to be just a hundred percent honest, it deteriorated the the relationship, and that's why I did CMC, and I got CMC okay, to deal with TVT. That's Chris Black, O One, and, and Ja. ja. I okay. did not know Ja. All right. Now CMC, I knew Chris Black, who was standing on two fifth and Hollis with a pack of crack, a pack of some cracks, and a gun, and he was just he's a, he was just a hustler. So he said, yo, got it, I got a grease. Yo, I'm gonna do the rap. I said, Black, shut the fuck up, nigga. You can't rap. I'm like, you a hustler. He's just a he's just a hustler. Like pure hustler on the block for Dolo he was all day, project, all bro. night. Yeah. So he was the other guy on TVT I really liked. He was from Queens too. It may have been a, a, a artist wise. Yeah, you, you he wasn't under you, but you Royal Flush. Oh, I like Royal Flush back then. Royal oh. Flush. That was oh. Mike's man. Mike pioneered that. that oh man. You, there's a freestyle, because please the cash money click, I don't want to forget. There's a freestyle where Royal Flush came up with Fat Joe and Pun. On my show, he had a, a couple few verses. people. A few people have yeah. that I haven't been able to like. I found pieces of it. But yeah, I, I I liked him very much. But plus, um, you used to spit. Um, cash you know money saying? click. Cash money click. CMC. Okay, now here he that, Chris Black introduced me to Ja to Ja Rule. And, and the minute I, I heard Ja rap, I was like, he's the one. Now I remember. I remember now. I don't remember the Def Jam switch. I remember you Def saying... Def Jam switch, it, yo, it's crazy. Here's the Def Jam shit. Now, I remember back in the days they had this thick shit called the Jukebox Network mm. where you could dial and pay $1.99 and your video that would broke. play. That broke beat nuts. That it broke, broke a lot. everything on relativity. Right, hey, hey, this is how hungry I was. So you, you new niggas then, y'all don't know nothing about this, but the old heads, they'll tell you about it. There was a, 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 a network called the Jukebox Network that you could, the box, and you could... Order your video and pay nine a dollar ninety nine. What I did was just to work it. Work it. I was so hungry back then. This is how I got the Dev Jam. Watch this. I had a video called Get the Fortune, right? With and it was heavily with Ja on it. Right? So I obtained all of the one nine hundred numbers. Mm -hmm. Because with the the box network, it was like if you dialed the one nine hundred number, it only was for a certain radius, maybe a twenty to thirty block radius. Then it was a different one nine hundred number because you couldn't just if it was just the whole New York, they wasn't gonna make no money. Mm. So I somehow went up to the box network, which was in Florida, mm. and I had got this chick to give me all of the one nine hundred numbers. I took that sheet. And I took it back, and I made the Get the Fortune video. So at the time, Meth and Mary, you're all, was the hottest video, the hottest thing. So what I used to do, <laughs> Make it play right behind it. I used to go to studios, and I would go 1-900 to see if it went through. Because it's $1.99, people. Mm. So once I seen it go through, I would stay in the studio until they kicked me out and have that sheet of paper and dial a 1-900 all day. Break the video. To break the video. And I did it so much, and this shit broke the top 10 at like number nine, because I was thinking. <laughs> now, Leo Cohen 
was doing the same thing, but on, on a big it. level. Uh, uh, throw for, your guns. No, for, for Meth and Mary, you're all I need. Okay, yeah. So whenever I seen that video, I would do it, and I still remember the number. It was 728 for, the, for, for my video. That was the code for it. You do the 1 900 and 728. So I would do every time, because I said if people are channel surfing, if they see the video for Meth, they're not going to turn, they're going to watch it. So I need to order my shit now so they'll fucking see my shit. And that's exactly what was happening with Leo Cohen. And he's like, who is this little rapper with this big voice? So he found out who I was, brings me, and has a meeting with me at Def Jam. I get up to the meeting with him, but he's like, I want John. I said, yo, he signed Leo. He wanted to steal him from from a, 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 a TVT, but he couldn't. He was he was signed. But that was my first introduction with Leo. But then the deal did happen. It happened. Now and then a TVT, couple years later. But but TVT ended up suing Leo. I could give you that play How, by play as well. Why did they sue Leo? I think it's no litigation anymore. So what if it is? Yeah, I'm with no, Flex. I think I'll the talk been about decided. it. Yeah, yeah, to pay yeah. Him something. Steve Gottlieb got buried with that. It was Big Bang Tank, Little Bang. Steve Gottlieb won the first settlement for like a hundred something million dollars, but then they appealed and dragged it out, and it was something like he won like a really small number. I think Leo sent him a bag of pennies. Or Lying. I swear to God. Not even, not even like millions. No, it was nothing. It ruined him. It, it because the Universal Music Group was paying the legal fees for Leo. He was the big executive. Steve Gottlieb's an indie, so he's paying all them legal fees, and they dragged it out. It probably co- well, and Steve Gottlieb had one of the illest litigation attorneys, who was probably charging him for each year. He had to probably give him a couple mil. Now, who was in the right there? Now, is it that that's key? You know, we're gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna I, say I'm a, here. Here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna give you the story, Flex. You tell me who's in the right because okay. I don't know. The story goes as such. He let Ja go because he wasn't doing nothing with Cash Money Click. Uh-huh. Leo hired me as an A&R director. I signed DMX. And after I signed DMX, I signed Ja. Okay. okay? And Steve Gottlieb let that happen because he still was under contract. I said to get him out the contract, I said, Steve, look, if it blows up with Ja, you know, maybe we'll do a CMC album because you still own the rights to the group. Dope. Dope. Nothing's going on. Ja turns out is one of the biggest artists in the country. Steve Gottlieb, yo, I want to do the album. I, CMC. CMC. I said, yo, I got to ask Leo because he owns the rights to Ja with me in Def Jam. Leo says, okay. Okay, got it. Leo oh, says- Just a verbal, not a written. Just a verbal. Leo says, okay, well, when I twist his arm. I twist his arm because Chris Black comes home from jail and this is a way for my nigga black to I think I remember eat. you mentioning right. that he's going to put the project together. I Putting do, the project I together, and I said, yo, we had an orca big record uh, with Mary J. It was just John Mary J., but I was going to put it on that album. That, oh, my God, to this day, if I play you the record, it's a smash. You have it? I don't have it on me now, but I'll get it to you. It's a smash. Can I have that record this week? You could. I'll find it Jaws and get it, it to you. It's Ja and Mary I J. I want that record. It's called, it's the record is The Streets Raise Me. These streets done I want that record. Me. Woo! And it's Ja and Mary going back and forth, and it's a savage, which we was giving to Steve Gottlieb in TV. Been right in launching. Been right. right. This will sell the, the CMC album, right? So Steve Gottlieb heard the record? Steve Gottlieb shitted his pants on the record. He was getting a Ja I'm getting excited. and Mary J record that sound awesome. You understand? He was shitting his pants. Leo then says, we have to get a third of it. So he said, cool, but now he said, we got to get a third. I go to That's Steve, not bad, though. I go, I go to Steve Dolly. I said, Joe, a third, a third, a third. Where it got sticky is who's going to distribute the record. Leo's Le, no the record. Who's gonna album? Who's gonna distribute it? So is it gonna go on the TVT's distribution? Switch who's an indie? Who they're gonna get all of that money and and thing? Or Universal? I mean Island Def Jam, where they get the billing, and that's where they had a monster clash. All right. Okay. Okay. And Leo's right. like, I'm letting you use my artists. 
we get in the billing for that. It comes over here, and I'll pay you your third. Steve Gottlieb was like, no, this is my album. You're trying to bully me. This is bullshit. I'll sue you. Oh, that shouldn't have been said. Yeah, he should have. We should have kind of went with, let's do the, let's negotiate it better. Negotiate it, but Steve Gottlieb felt that they was bullying him, and he's the little indie label, and they're the big mighty. He was a strong indie, though. He, he was he a strong. He had, he had Little John. He had Pitbull. He had, he had uh, Yo Gotti. They all come from the TVT system. So, he But he felt, and it was an ego thing. It was an ego thing. And I'm going to tell you this also. Steve Gottlieb, in my opinion, felt a little way because I brought Jay-Z and Rockefeller up to TVT. He passed. I brought DMX and Rough Riders up to TVT, and he already had Ja Rule. So everything that he didn't do with me, I went to Leo and grossed it uh, like a billion dollars. Now, it's, so he was a little hmm. salty with that. He said, I had Gotti and the, all of those acts. that He brought them all to me, and he passed. But I said, yo, look in the mirror, dog. Wait a minute. You but said, I'm glad he did that because I don't think it would have happened. It would have been different. It, right? Absolutely. How did you bring up Jay-Z? I forgot. Jay-Z was Rockefeller. Freeze. Sleep, freeze. For people who don't know what freeze is, that's sleeping bag records, which is EPMD, nice and smooth. Freeze. Priority. And then priority. Yes. Nuts and nervous in the beginning. But. Everybody did the but thing. It was just a distribution deal. What did? What did? That's um, why he he was the hottest. He was, was the, the hottest. Song after what reason was his was, name? Uh, Will Sokolov. Sokolov. Will Sokolov. What did Will get paid to stand down? Because I felt like he got a check. I don't know. I don't uh -huh. think he got anything. I think Brian Turner took the money. Priority. Okay. Okay. Because they was the one that was distributing, and they was the one like sure that. that Freeze be. just Freeze really had nothing to do with it. Really. Because it was a distribution deal. So where did Freeze even come into? Like, I think that guy Will and he knew Dame or something. He went to. He knew Dame or something, and that that's. Will how had they, a good understanding of the independent market, though. Yeah, he was Will. Will Sokoloff was a guy. He was Will, a guy. He was he was running I'm around. I'm gonna tell you, you know, because Will Sokoloff, I I, I want to. I remember EPMD ringing in yeah. the streets. And I and, and I used to carry Chuck's records and we would go to sleeping bag records. <laughs> New York, and I'm gonna tell you there was no motherfucking label more hip hop <laughs> than sleeping than bag. Sleeping bag records. <laughs> with Eric Sermon in there running around. <laughs> Just Ice was beating people I up. Love. <laughs> it was so crazy. <laughs> it was so street. Yo, when you wore a sleeping bag jacket in them streets, it was authentic. It was so fucking <laughs> official. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> it was it was on a street. Yo, what was it? it? I remember the address is something something Broadway. Yeah. Uh, I don't. It was it was nuts, man. Oh my God! It was a about, back then. Nervous, oh yeah. Nervous was fucking crazy. Not not to take anything away from the purple. Def Jam jacket. Ah, <laughs> the purple. Before there was distribution. And you wore that purple leather. Purple. You used to tell niggas, yo, go fuck yourself, nigga. <laughs> you, you said the fuck I'm wearing, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga, I don't even know you. He said the purple. The, the Def Jam jackets was made. And then when you The wore, purple one was crazy. When you wore a jacket back then in a different borough, <laughs> it meant, nigga, not only do I know Russell Simmons possibly, nigga. <laughs> He might be fucking your girl. He could be. It's a slight We don't even care. It's a 50-50 shot. Oh, the hottest jacket. You know, them, that, them jackets was so, oh, mean. Yeah, but man. But to, to, to Will Sokoloff, I mean, he built a great brand. That sleeping bag brand was amazing. And uh, I did like that Jay was running with him. I did like it because it, it, it felt some sort of tradition. I liked it. I mean, it was a distribution deal, though. They had nothing to do with it. They was just there to they make had sure got to do the store. They just got to they just got to priority. From my understanding, they was the connect to priority to get them to distribute so they could be in all the stores and it's a good priority records had a good distribution. Now that ain't no nigga. If I remember this right, Jay and Dame got slick. That record went on to a soundtrack. I can and, give and, you that and story. And then they eased into the building. No, I can give you right? that. Right? Was story. that what happened? Here's the story. All right. I did my little radio thing. I knew everyone from, like, say, Boston to D.C. 
the record was banging from Boston to DC. It had like maybe 500 spins. Mm -hmm. And I looked at the guys and I said, that's that's about it. I, I, I don't know how to, to maneuver outside of this thing when we're banging here. So I told them, I said, hey, Kevin Lyles is regarded as the best radio promo guy in the business. Bribe him. Mm -hmm. See if you can't give him a bag and fucking see if he'll work the record. Yeah. And who was the other guy that was at Def Jam that passed away? He was also, he was behind the Def Jam radio machine. Remember he passed away? Wes Johnson. Wes Johnson. Yeah, Wes was. You always want to build up to Wes, right? Yeah, Wes was the big guy. Yeah. You wanted to get to Wes because when Wes kicked in, your record went. You used to say that. I, I was on Def Jam records. The question always was, if where does this have to go for Wes Johnson? Johnson <laughs> right. So here, so Kevin Lyles does not take. The he doesn't Side bite back. at the bit. You know, he doesn't that. take the thing, but he said, "Hey, I have a Nutty Professor soundtrack. Give me the record for the soundtrack. I'll give you some money for the video, and now I could officially work the record because it's on the Nutty Professor soundtrack." He gives him the record. We shoot the video with Big, R.I.P. Big. I miss him. You know what I'm saying? He he was big. We had a bunch of fun. He got Jay high. You know what I'm saying? He got Jay because Jay don't really smoke weed, so Big got a thing, and he was like, "I got you." And Jay was paranoid he was like looking around and we just had a great time it was just a really really that's really good memories of the game that 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 ain't no nigga video so boom kev takes the record from 500 spins to like 4,000 spins and now it's like a national hit and rockefeller is off the charts and you rolling know, right and that's when leo came to me and leo wanted me to be an anr director and everything and but it was a smart move. They they had their eye on Jay and Dame, and Jay and Dame coordinated the, the label deal. What did Jay-Z and Dame dash for that first project? Because it was just Jay-Z in the beginning. Mm -hmm. What was the budget on that, roughly? The first budget on Reasonable Doubt? No, yeah, when they come to Def Jam. Oh, when they come to Def, Def Jam. Jam. First, the, the... It was a seven-figure budget. 750000 Because no, no one... No, it was a seven-figure Seven budget. figures, yeah. so over a million. Yeah, he was hot, yo. Oh, over a million. Now, this is before... The hottest nigga in the streets, Flex. But this is before... So this is Reasonable Doubt album's out. It's out. It's out. It's in the streets selling. Yes. And then, um, which was an album that wasn't appreciated to later. Reasonable Doubt, when it... At the time, when it was out. Right. I feel like it wasn't 100% appreciated, but as it went I, a couple I, years... I disagree, Flex. You know, I'm going to tell you why, I was his DJ. I was his nah, DJ, and, and we Irv. was touching every town, and listen, they knew Nas, the whole... that Nas album? Nas album was like two years before look, 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 Yo, Gotti went like this. <laughs> no, but the Nas album, you saw my Ilma album? Illmatic. That was, that was the bar. That was the bar. Yes. That Ill was the bar. Illmatic, Illmatic was the bar. ridiculous. There's nothing... Illmatic... So listen, Illmatic to me... That's an album that changed hip hop, because and he started. He took it from Rakim and and Big Daddy Kane, but he took it to another another street level shit that they wasn't talking about. Now I always felt like you know you know that was what everybody was always. The question was whether that was better. That at the time when that record that album. They're both classics, Flex. Now I gotta put you on the spot. Or which they're album both, is better? They're Earth, both classics. Earth. No, they're both classics. So no, no, no. Which one? Which look, look, look. I look. love both albums. I'm being honest. You with don't you. think anyone's better? Like I, I, I help make reasonable doubt, yo. Like I make, can I live, my nigga? Like I, no, like I undisputed. Which cap? That was caps. I made. Can I live with hope, nigga? Yeah. Like regrets. No, regrets. No, regrets to this day is still Gotti. like my favorite record. Gotti, I understand, and I am listening to you. I need to know to you as a hip hop. I, I, no, keep looking at me, you can't, Listen, no, you can't make me choose. On this. No. You can't make me choose, Flex. I like them Gotti, equally. Wait a minute. If I let, let, let you're gonna be mad at me, I'm gonna give it no. to Reasonable Doubt. No, you're gonna no. be mad at me because I'm hey, saying Reasonable no, no, Doubt. No, no, no. Nigga, Brooklyn's finest. Yo, what Nas's first album or Jay Z's? What? Which one do you feel now? Now, when I'm we say better, we got to be specific. New I'm York, giving Jersey. Nas. No, I'm giving Nas the nod that that album changed hip hop. Here, I want. I want to say something. Nas's album. The reason. Listen, Nas's album brings forth "Ready to Die." Now, hey, wait. But the first wait. nigga to spit wait, the wait. way Nas spit was Nas. Wait, wait, wait. I want to first say the reason why we're having this discussion <laughs> is because there are no two other albums that anybody, I don't give a who the fuck you are, could be talked about. 
in this realm. And when we're saying this Nas and Jay-Z, we're saying over fucking everything. I want that to be understood. We ain't just talking local. We talking bars and like that's God, it. I love this. Guy. We we ain't at Wu Tang. <laughs> we ain't at we ain't at you know all I'm any of thirty six chambers. Uh, great. There was a great album. Like, we as far as RZA and his production, yeah, that's tr- a game nah, changer. And I love Tribe. I love RZA. I love and I'm gonna say today, but the bar is Nas that Nas album and that Jay Z album. So I want to know that this, I want to set the tone so you know we're not just talking about fucking. We're not talking to be talking, Irv. We talking about history. Yeah. Now I'm back at that that album. Look, <laughs> he's like he won't Yo. wait when that album dropped because I want to be. I can we say can for go myself. Record for record. No, like, I, I, fe- I always what... felt. I always felt they didn't get to just do who at the time. Jay's at the time, like it drops this week. Like let's just say it dropped when it dropped. Nas's album, if you want to talk like that, really didn't get to just do either. Nas's album just went like it went platinum. That album should have sold you think, crazy. You know, now, was there any type of basis or creativity on that on that reasonable doubt based on that Nas album? No. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'm telling you. If anything, hold it. It wasn't. No, no. I'm gonna tell you because. No, no. Listen. No, to we me. gotta stay specific. Listen with the question. to me. Zero, zero, zero. You know why? In a crazy way. Nas wasn't the top dog, nigga. Oh, was the... It was big. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yes, yes. It was uh-huh. big, yeah, wait, wait, nigga. Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, At no, no, the no, no, time, no, no. big no, no. outsold the nigga. Hold on, wait, hey, listen. I don't know. Faith, I don't want nobody getting mad at me, but that first Biggie album was not that Nas album. No way. No, I won't. I, 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 I hey, hey. I, I, I could, I could, I could reason feel being, you on I'm gonna that. Tell you reason being. I could feel reason you on being. that. But one he more chance was a remix. Who shot you was an add-on. Right. One more chance. Uh, one more chance was a remix. If one more chance was the, a remix the, add-on. Who shot you was an if add-on. If they was on the album, then it's a different story. And the album was, the, the album was sitting a little. Until the one more chance cooked I up. I mean, honestly, Craig Mack was hotter than Big when he At first time, came out. Yes. It's just that we seen Big was like, oh shit. Now, you understand? Back but to this Nas album. I'm telling you the real shit. Nothing not, was not, based on not, that. I'm telling you the doubt. real Nothing? Listen, I'm going to give you the mindset of us back then. The mindset of us back then is, yo, we want to be the top motherfuckers. Absolutely. And Nas was not. Nas was respected. Lyrically, he was respected. But at the time of reasonable doubt, nigga, it was big. Wait, but, it, but, he had the yes, crown. Yes. He was the fucking but, king uh, of New York. So we wasn't thinking not about... Not that drug talk. Not that drug talk. Not that drug talk. That drug that Nas had the... Nas had the great... He had the listen bar. Me, listen, you know can I tell the, you something? All right, you know why can he had I the tell bar? you something? How about this story then then didn't he didn't hope is, didn't hope call nas i don't know about that uh oh i don't know about that uh oh no wait here, here's what i know nas the was tech a, on the dresser listen where's no, that come from? i don't know about that all right all i know is nas i think he wanted nas on can i live made sense get it and nas didn't show up okay okay so then he did the second verse you understand? But what I'm saying that to you... That would have been an amazing record. It would have been off the hook. But what I'm explaining I'll to you... I'll take a Nas verse from that on that song tomorrow. You take it right now. Right and now. And you'll spin it like it was fresh. It right. Came out I got this you. Morning. But what I'm saying to you is I'm being honest with you. Okay. Nas wasn't the one. I know, yo. man. But nah, you, you're going commercial Nas success. wasn't the one, You're, just, yo. you're saying commercial no, success. No, hey, the mindset of us, we wanted to respect and envy our peers. But, yo, to be the king of New York, you got to sell, nigga. So, uh, you can't no, fucking. No, no. Wait, wait, you no, no. can't. To be the king, yeah, you got to sell, wait, 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 nigga. Wait, 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 wait. You got to be so, the most wait, authentic wait. nigga in the street. You got to fucking be like that. Reason you got to have down. thing, And you have to sell. You can't be the king of New York and your shit when Six hundred thousand, so nigga. Now, so not so. So wait, Nas. So the we ain't respecting Jay's, that. Jay's album is bet was better than Nas's album. I'm calling it a tie. <laughs> Not gonna fucking right. do it. All right, I'm calling it a tie. You call it a tie. I'm calling it a tie. Nas's album. I'm giving him the credit Illmatic, of changing. Right? I'm giving Illmatic the, the credit of changing hip hop. The way I see hip hop is like Illmatic this. Illmatic started it off. Invented bootlegging. You, you know that. Right? Listen, listen, it listen. Invented bootlegging. Hear me out on hip hop. You're gonna feel me on this. 
I this is my opinion on hip hop. You had the hip hop started. You had like your Grandmaster Flashes, you know, your Curtis Blows Cold and Crush everything. Brothers. Cold Crush Cold Brothers, Crush that Brothers. whole era, they was popping. Then running them came out with Suck MCs. Queens, yeah. Absolutely. Running them came out with Suck MCs, and that shit was different. It, it was, was a different record than I'm what glad they you're was doing. This conversation now, I wanted to have this conversation now with was you. different. Because this is some Bronx Queens nigga shit, and I want to have this conversation I'm Queens with all you. Day. All right. Did, Matter of fact, did, play Rising uh-uh, to the Top. Uh-uh. Did <laughs> all you Harlem and Bronx niggas, Rising to the Got Top it. by Kenny Burke is a Queens yes, it fucking is. Uptown record, stole it. nigga. Uptown stole it. Period. Uptown stole it. Yes. Louds, he must I be got a question for you. Hey, Kev, I can't answer right now. Hold on. Gotti. Did Run DMC steal everything that they did from the Cold Crush Brothers? Yes or no? I'm going to say no, because Sucker MCs does not sound like anything from the Cold Crush. Now I'm going to tell you what it is. You want me to tell you why it is? You're Got telling it? me Sucker MC sounds like yes. a Cold Action. Well, who the girl that made action? What's this? Uh, the, the, the girl. Girl, all right, go ahead. Cold go ahead. Crush Brothers used that for every fucking routine. Every routine they used action. Now I'm gonna take you even. I'm gonna take you further. Hold on, Gotti. I've been wanting gonna, to have you're this. Never gonna win oh, wait, this. Everyone, wait, pull up the wait. records. All no, you no, young, no, no, no. pull up the records and tell me the if same, Sucker MC yeah. sounds like anything Russell, that the Cold Crush let me tell you does. Something. Russell executive produced that 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 record. He used the same band to play on the Run DMC. I've studied this. Suck MCs was all drums. It was nah. no band. No, 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 no. The record that he Suck took MCs from. was a Gotti. kick, a snare, no. and some fucking percussion. Gotti. Did action go? Mm, eh, eh, mm, eh, mm, eh, mm. That action. That's fine. Well, lyrically, <laughs> hold it, hold it. Lyrically, what was the Cold Crush spin? They wasn't spin two years ago. No, 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 a no, no, friend no, no. Of mine. no, no. Wait, wait, They wasn't doing that, DMC my nigga. DMC is an exact carbon copy of I'm JD. talking about uh-uh, run. Uh-uh. Suck no, MCs, look, look, look. hold on, hold on. <laughs> Suck MCs was run. Wait, no, no, let me finish. DMC, DMC, let me, let me do a disclaimer. My nigga, I love you. <laughs> I, I love want, DMC. I want DMC. I love you, Russell. Listen, those that suck MCs changed my life. I want to. I want to say this right. Come on, I nigga. I want to say this right. But wait a minute. I just want to say, and I'm gonna go on personal conversation with Run. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Because I've been wanting to have this talk. Wait. Run could have borrowed. Everyone uh, no, borrows no, from no, dude. No. But yo, uh, he, look, 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 look. No, wait. DMC <laughs> and JDL. All that. Oh yeah. And all that deep voice. It's JDL from the Cold Crush Brothers. Wait a minute. Now, when I spoke to Run and he said it respectfully, he said, he told Jam Master, that Charlie Chase over there, you gotta be exact. You gotta have it down pat like him. That big they beat. All you know, borrow uh, from uh, each uh, other. I wanna flex, be specific. But... That big beat, that big beat that he cut in Funhouse, rest in peace, JJ. I love you, my love brother. You, Jay. Rest in peace. That was the Cold Crush Brothers, bro. <laughs> I'm, I, that's all I'm at. I I'm at. You know what I'm at. I don't agree. You just agree like to here, disagree. rising top, I, rising to the top. I understand. Queens. What you, I, yes. See? Grand nah, Master Vic. Vic. But nigga. you know what? Look at your expression. You know why? You, you know why Master you feel like Vic. that? And it gotta be dirty on the baseline, but it gotta be. Now, 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 wait, 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 as you should. Now, why? And, and you know why you feel that way? Because you feel like Harlem ran with it, right? You feel like Harlem me ran. Diddy, me and Diddy have this argument. You felt like this Harlem day. ran with it, right? Diddy still says, like, yo, it's a Harlem ran. I'm no, like, no, nigga, no, get the no, fuck no. out of okay, here, but yo. You, but you, you, it made you tight, right? That you feel Harlem I ran with it. Listen, uh, here. If you, you saw, you saw if Gotti's you say, energy, hold right? Hold on, hold on. Like, if you say, I, I that, agree with run, you. Man. I'll give you that maybe they borrowed, but Suck MCs is a different record. And it changed yeah, hip hop. I agree. All I right. Agree. So after Run DMC, let me get back to Nas. So after Run DMC, Russell, Russell you need to mention you that. You had Houdini Crush and all of them, and that vibe, and it was hip hop was going one way, and then this nigga named Rakim changed the game. Appeared with fucking I came through the door, and it was like, who the and fuck is, is this nigga, right? And then with that era, you had your Canes, your Kooji raps, and everything like that. The West Coast start moving shortly after that with N.W.A. and everything like that. And then after Rakim, 
I'll, I'm giving all of the kudos to, to my Queensbridge brother and to Nas and with Illmatic that he dropped an album that was so authentically crazy. And he took the baton from Eric B. Rakim, but he started talking about the block in a way that no one ever did. Right. And then with Nas came Biggie, came Jay, came all of that stuff. I think Biggie's. I think I think Jay's first album is better than Big's first album. I really do. I can see that, but I Big's think. first album is retarded, man. I I I I really do. Give me the loot. Give me motherfucking right. My pocket looking kind of tight, and I'm stressed, that yo. Re, that, that, he that was re, the king. Yes. He was the unequivocal, non-disputed king of fucking New York. He had the record sales. He had the lyrics. He had the fucking radio records. He had every fucking thing. I, I do. I do think he was king. I'm, so that's why when you go back to yo, was y'all? No, honestly, we wasn't Nas, thinking about Nas. 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 Niggas was. That big, we gotta get what big got in level, but that stru. I'm telling you the real. Now here, let's describe the let's describe the the climate correct. The <laughs> one of the you did you broke it down, but New York at the time this is ninety five ninety six yeah. New York was having a little issue in terms of acceptance. Nah, wait, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Because we came out of the Wu era that was very raw, right? I loved Wu. It was a very raw. And I did Riz's feel... Rizzi's production, yo, is so because, unique. Because remember when Biggie went on the cover of The Source? Yeah. As King of New York? Yes. And I was 100% agreement in it. But you had, at the time, maybe because they weren't used to that, a lot of artists that it definitely made them feel funny because he was actually holding a street crown and he was at, he was holding a street crown, a radio crown, and a pop crown kind of at the same time. Yo, that's the crown. Right? So That's the fucking crown. So, yeah. But the reason why I bring this up <laughs> is, be he was is because everything. the way we are talking about that time period now mm -hmm. is a way that you felt I felt. Mm -hmm. But it was a way that the public had f was, was super fronting on big because they was a little... Uh, and when I say public, meaning the music industry. The music industry at the time wasn't giving how we just said it now, which is the truth. Right. Niggas, they wasn't saying it like that. I don't know. I, I always gave it up. You you, you did. but and, and, and that's to say, the reason why I'm, I'm even bringing that up is because that time period, you know, was not just important, but... When we say Nas didn't have the record sales, I agree with you. He didn't. But he had the remember, he had the accolades, he had the respect, he had the five mics, now, now, he had all of that, but he didn't he now, didn't have it with you, sales. But think about it. That's why he how got with he, Steve Stout. But 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 but, but how could he? But even, the, even how could he? How could he, he, he got though? hip. <laughs> because look, Sony was not a, the master plan place. No. Right. And then you also had. I mean, who was his manager at the time? I don't think he had one. Maybe he did. He didn't. Did. No, he got with Stout after. Yeah, he got with yeah. Stout to make it. But I mean, and I and I and I get. I judge those two records together because I feel like they were kind of in the same place at the time. They were both. They finding. wasn't though. Well, they were fine. Well, they was Jay years was, apart. Years, but they like Jay was independent. Yeah. Jay was like, this is my project. This is the dopest shit I'm going to make. Here it is. And then I felt like Nas was that, like that. Here's the thing, then. too. Here's the thing, too. Nas might have had an edge. He was on a major. Listen, he he, here's the thing, too. Listen, here's the thing, too. Nas was rapping that drug shit. But honestly, in my humble opinion, no one talks that shit like Jay. Because he was Listen. really, hold it, because he was really that guy. Yeah. He was really, he was really that guy, and I don't want to go into depth though with it because he's in without such giving another, up his business. Without, without giving up his business, a, he's in such another place, and he's evolved to a, this, 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 this figure. But he was really that guy. He was really, really that guy. And when he, when he became, and and that was the style of which he was going to start rapping. I don't, I, don't, it. I don't think nobody. No, absolutely, absolutely. I don't think I'm nobody. Only at first I'm only at first album. Time to separate the pros from the cons. Like, like you listen to that, yo. He he's a monster, yo. I I it and was. I went to I, I met Jay Z. I met Jay Z in London because uh, we had the same management as first J time? As jazz. 
Yeah, so we all, me, Jazz, and Jay-Z went to London. That's when I met him. I was 17. He was 18. But what, and what were you guys doing over there? Jazz's album, Hawaiian Sophie. Wow. Yeah, we was doing that album. And so they flew me out because I was the, I didn't do shit. Because they, they, they wanted him to be like, they wanted Jazz, this dude from Marcy. They wanted him to be like Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. So they had me as the DJ. And I loved Jazz. I, I enjoyed yeah, that. I, I loved the EP on EMI. Big shout out to Jazz. You know, I, I got nothing but warm regards I don't, to Jazz. I, do, I, I did not. But what I'm saying. I didn't like, I didn't like Jazz's energy. Keep it a buck. Hey, listen. To, uh, because everyone, everyone has energy at certain times. They think and feel I should, things. I shouldn't talk. You know, no. But listen, <laughs> no. Listen, Jazz. Even he stake a claim for my career. He, 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 he introduced me. He had me on the road. He taught me how to make beats. He, he taught me to hit, hit this button and that'll do but this. I love Jazz. Yeah, I love Jazz. I, to this I, day, I, if I see him, I have nothing but great thoughts with Jazz. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. Like when we was in London, I was I clicked up with Jay. And Jay, in my honest opinion, I he I was like, this nigga is ridiculous. He's like a superstar. And he's his rhyming, everything. He's this nigga's different. I had the same feeling when I met X when he first rhymed in front of me and his animation and You see him early. I seen him I seen him early. I seen Jay early. I seen X early and I, I seen not Rule early. I didn't understand Jay early. I didn't understand X. I seen early. it. Like, come on, everyone wants to be what he's talking about and he's really that motherfucker who's really living it and talking it you understand like he's really that guy he really was a rich dude before the game he really was Chris out he really like thing like most of the stuff that I knew about jewelry about champagne mm -hmm. about the the better life Jay schooled me I didn't know about it. I'm a nigga from Hollis Queens I didn't really know he like nah God he fucked that mo we gonna slip, sip this Chris style. He even knew about like shit. He was he knew about chick shit. Like what I mean, like if you look notice Jay, he always he was talking about the six inch Louis Vuittons before early. anyone was talking early. He's just a different guy. He studies. It's not that he's just he's just a rare breed, yo. I'm telling you, he's a rare breed. He's one of one. Now, when you used to like the the, the Jay Z's and the DMX's, and this time you're doing A and R and Def Jam. Yeah. And like, are you are you you're you're working for the label? But back then, did the A and R get any overrides or any points on albums? I was getting any? jerked. Well, or was the game different? I was getting jerked, one hundred percent. But the game was. different. I was making sixty thousand a year, right? Yeah, I didn't yeah. get no. I was making sixty k a year, and I was on those hundred million albums or whatever that we talking about. I was making sixty k. Oh, but you, when you got your situation in there, I was getting jerked. I didn't get a bonus. The only thing I got was a T and E. You know, they gave me a call for called a T and E. And my man, I forgot who told me. They said, "Listen, how they judge T and E? Your first year, you got to blow it out, cause then they'll set what it is." So I blew out my card. I was at Mr. Hey. Chow's on 57th Street every night. You understand? I think I spent like three hundred thousand. Then they set my T and E for like two fifty. How <laughs> how important was Mike Kaiser? Mike in Kaiser the de in the Def Jam. I, I don't. Look, first I never, of all, Mike Kaiser's a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Mike Kaiser's my brother. And Mike Kaiser, the importance of Mike Kaiser in the in the building, I don't think Def Jam would have been what it, honestly. What it was. If it wasn't for Mike Kaiser and people, there's a few other people, Gabby mm -hmm. in the building. There was a few people like that that's in the building that just, was, they was the heart and soul of it. And Kaiser was putting in that work, getting these records spun, and he had thing. And he he's, you know, Mike Kaiser, yeah, Def Jam wouldn't have been, you know. When I and, and his camaraderie with all of the artists, you know, it was I fun. love him. Yeah, we love we love Kai's. I used, it was so crazy. We used to play Monopoly. We'd be in the office till two a.m. Like, he he's part of an energy that people don't want to leave it. Mm. So it's like Listen. when you fuck with Kai's, you're just in the office. The Kai's. The Kai's. The Kai's. When I used to fill in for Red Alert, <laughs> and I said to be ninety, I think Kai's was working Tile Records. I think, <laughs> but he used to work me. On me because he knew Still? I would fill in. <laughs> wow! And I, I remember seeing him later on, and you know, Kaiser always give you good advice too. He was the first one to tell me, I hit that bomb sound, and he said, "Yo, that's that was big." But I was I was hitting. I had I had about twenty sounds I was fucking with, and we would hit different ones every day. Bomb one, Kaiser. He, he, on he, he was like, "It's a yeah, no." Nah, but I'm be honest. Said, that that, that bomb shit. That's why everyone talks about it. Because when you're in the radio, so you're not you. You got to step outside yourself. When you're outside in the car and you're you're listening to you on the radio and that bomb 
The bomb, I don't know what effect you got on it, or whatever. It sounds Ooh, Chris like Ma- Chris crazy. Mercado did it, I think. He put it. an effect or something on it, cause when it drops, it like resonates. It, through, rings. it seems like it resonates throughout the whole city. You know what I never noticed, Gotti? Which is what I noticed when I hit they the button. They still talk about that damn bomb, yo. The, the, when I when I get ready to hit it, in my mind, I will cut something up and I throw it to the beginning, and I'm listening. And I'm like. <laughs> because it's it's almost like the point of where I've reached it. Yo, I like this. I like this. <laughs> so you hit the fucking It took me a minute to figure it out. I was like, well, what am I? Well, you, you, you. you I'm talking shit. Listen, let me give, let me give Flex his kudos right now, to ex- at least with me. You understand? And I was in 300, right? And I was like, you know, maybe I'm a dinosaur, right? So I was telling Kev and the whole staff at 300, what up, y'all? Great meeting today, right? So I was like, maybe I'm a dinosaur, but. I need Flex to break all my records. Because they're like, you know, there's other channels, there's other things that you could do. And I'm like, yeah, but call me, call me a dinosaur because I've watched Flex, like, take records. And because if he goes on it, it's like, yo, the whole country has to follow. And I I don't know. And Music. I don't know any DJ, any other DJ that had and has that much fucking power. Yo. I think sometimes the passion... I think with Yo, like, you like, really like feel your shit. Yeah, if it's something I love, and you I love it, it. you going to go, and it's like you want everyone to know what this is about and that, yo, go on this, and it happens. And it's, it's the crazy shit, but I'm telling you, that bomb, you need to one time maybe go in your car and let someone else do what you do, or maybe you record it and go there. You know I'm funny? telling when somebody you, it's else crazy. Hits it, if Tat or Trip it's or not somebody the same. else it. it is, but I know they hit it at the point of what they like. <laughs> like so like, it's like. where they like something, they're going to hit it. What I like, the part that I like, I hit it. So I, I do know the difference. No, but Flex, Flex, y- y- you're obnoxious with the bomb, which is, <laughs> a, you understand, let's, let's call it what it is. You will, if you really love a record and you go on a record, and and that's another thing with DJs. I don't know any other DJ that has the autonomy to do what you do. They can, but they don't want to take a chance. But they can. They they're allowed to. You anybody can take. It. Let me tell you something. No matter what station you work for, you can take the record back to the beginning. It's if you choose to a deep believer. Flex, you'll play a record for an hour. Like, well, that, you know some, what I'm saying? Some, some, with with bombs. With Sometimes bombs. They can't do and, that. and let me tell you something. Every artist, when you do that, we're all envious. Like, I need to get him a record for him to do that. <laughs> you understand? I and need a record to think, do that. Gotti, how many people think I get paid to do that? People pay me to do that. They probably all do. All of the artists, the thing, and I said, when they talked to me, I said, I never gave Flex a dollar. Not one if fucking I like the record, dollar. I'm I said, he's a, I said, Flex is a music purist. Just give him a record. And I give him the story of Mike Geronimo. My enemy. I stand out there. The I handed him the record. He played the record. There was a kid, and I'm not going to say his name. Name. And he got a record. I played it in the last three months. And I, when I first met him, he was so fucking annoying that I was like, "Snake, like you know, I don't like when niggas is on that. Yo, you ain't hear about me yet? No. And I was like, <laughs> kept on, bro. Now I ain't gotta hear about you. I'm done talking to you today. <laughs> right. So this is, the record's floating around, and I hear the record, right. and I didn't know it's his. And I and I and I listen to it. I listen to it. And I'm like, damn, this record's. And then I looked at the name and I was like, I hate this scene. <laughs> this, you still had oh, it. I, wait, oh, I went ham on the record. You went ham on it because you loved the record. I love the record. But then, I, you know, I still keep my distance a little bit. But I love the record. And the guy record I love, I'm there with you, bro. But, I try and, and tell people. And, and I, don't have that, I don't have those too many of those issues. I try and tell normally. people when they ask me about because most people know me and you is, is close and we, we, we have a good friendship. And I'm just like, yo. Now, they like, yo, you 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 gave him a bag. I'm telling I'm like, what? Now, 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 now Irv God. First of all, I don't just even know how friendship. to get bags. You, you understand? You, 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 just, you just said friendship, right? Absolutely. And I want to ask you something. We're going to keep it 100 because I don't know the answer. I always keep it 100 with you, yo. I may get in did trouble you, for a few you, things that I now, said here. No, bro. oh, absolutely. No, me yeah. too. But we clean it up. We always said we love somebody before we. Uh, yeah, you know. exactly. All right. Did you ever feel a way with me? In playing 50. 50 cent records. We've never talked about it. Did you feel a way? Did, did, Let me did, give it keep to you. It, you keep, keep it, it 100%. Above. 50 cent was so hot with that damn in the club record. I did not feel one bit of a way. Okay. You have a job to play. Now, rule. <laughs> yeah, it's a different story. <laughs> now, my rule brother. Ne- rule never talked to me about it. Look, now, my brother, my brother, man, felt now, the way. Now, was rule mad at I'm going to give you a rule. Give me on. 
Rule wasn't like detrimental mad at you, but, but it, what the it, fuck? It, it stung. It stings. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a true story when we first heard in the club. You know, the Wangster record, it was a snazzy tune, but, you know, it was nothing. We were so heavy making these big look, ass look, records. Look at God, he's so cool. Yeah. Look at this we shit. We were so look heavy making shit. big ass records. It was like, yeah, it's a snazzy tune, but <laughs> who cares, right? People start mumbling to me, yo, he's with D.R.E. And D.R.E., I respect, like, he's the best producer, in my opinion, yeah. of all times. Of all times, he's ill. So I was like, shit, right? And then we was all in my office, Worldwide Plaza, Rule was in the office. We was in there having a good time. And here comes Flex at 7 o'clock. I got the new... So he said, all right, let's listen. Let's, <laughs> let's listen to it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm like, oh, God, We're fucking Dre. Right? So, boom. So then... Oh, no, but wait a minute. You're bringing it back. So I'm like... All right, the beat is fucking nuts. He may have one, but let's see if he connected the dots lyrically. He may have not have connected the dots lyrically. You can find me in the car. I'm like, this is it. I turn the rule and everyone in the office, and I say, yo, buckle up. We have a major problem. This guy's hot. This, this record, and he's with Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre, and fucking Eminem. We have a problem. Now, when Buckle I'm up. Now, when I'm now I'm taking this record back, is jaw tight at me? A little bit. Yeah, I mean, I mean a little I, touch, listen, a touch. Listen, you could ask any rapper who's ever been involved in a beef or anything. They're all gonna be like, "Yo, I'm like an I'm an executive." So it didn't. I was like, I went into straight like, "Yo, I gotta think of what to do." You understand? I got to think of what to do to, to, to handle this massive wave. Because let's be clear. Whoever is the biggest rapper in the game really controls the world. Uh, absolutely. That's Whoever's the, the biggest rapper, when he comes in the room, he's the nigga. Mm -hmm. he, I don't Trolls care. Like, listen, I remember when Usher sold all of them records, right? So like 18 million. We was at a party, but when we came in with fucking X and J, nigga, we was the niggas. You understand? And that's what, that's why people in hip hop fight so much. Cause who, who, he who's on top, controls the universe. Like you understand? And anything he says, it goes. See what now, I'm saying? I think now I feel Fifth knew me and you was tight. Everyone knew me and you was tight. And then because there's a line, he maneuvered it right. I'm gonna tell you, there's a line in the record. What's that record? Um. I let my watch to, to me. He says, he says, and fifth, me and you have not talked about this, but he says, <laughs> flex my man, he, he gonna, gonna pump, pump my, my shit. shit. Yeah. I'm a liar and I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I knew, I was like, all right. Yeah. Fifth is a little mad me because I don't play all his songs. I, I already, I, I, I caught, that's what I felt on the song. When I see him, I'm gonna ask him. But now, in that time, have you and Fifty Cent spoken, seen each other? We've seen each other. We don't, we don't speak. And did we, you ever speak to him before that? Before you speak. had an issue. Before there was an issue. Did you? Were you and him, him cool? No, I ain't know him. You never knew him. So, knew him. is that relationship? Was it always because? You just were affiliated with Supreme. Is that always was that always know. what it was? I, I, I don't know. I was too busy getting a lot of money. To, he wasn't on my radar, and people like. Did people, he ever try to get with Murder Inc? No. Did he ever want to be on the label? Absolutely not. He, he was always wanted to be his absolutely own entity. Absolutely not. I always wanted to be. I don't. Well, and and I don't know. People people like they tend to forget. Like he first came out at us with that murder, murder your life's on the line and stuff like that. that. Yeah, he got at us early, but we 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 totally dominated him. Like, but people forget that loss that he took with that. I don't remember and that song. His, uh, thing. Come on, he had the murder, murder, your life's on the line record. See, but now, Gotti, how many years ago is that? That's 20 years ago. See, and, and I, I want to tell you something. I have a different eye and <laughs> right. opinion of it now 20 years later. What's your opinion? Bro? My opinion of it, Gotti, is I felt like now that we've seen or I have seen how runs have a time. Yes, we all have them. I'm start. I I remember a few years back saying to myself, 
the change was not 100% coming from 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the change in the wave of the music because once we get yes. to a, it, you know it's what? Similar. Listen, watch this. I'm gonna like give Drake. you. I'm gonna give you. Where a comparison. we at now? I'm gonna give you a comparison. It's similar to when you was puffied out and shiny suited Correct. out, and then X said, "And we get at me, dog. Let's take it back to the streets, motherfucker." And and, and, and they kind of the shiny suits dimmed down, Correct. and it was about hood shit and street shit. And it, I that's feel what like, happens in I hip hop. I feel like the Drake era, which is a great era. Is here, and I feel like there is Drake a, is super talented, though, yo. And, but but I feel like there is an appreciation that for guy, the harder court for the harder music. But listen, and it's not selling like but that. Listen, but there's Flex, an appreciation. Listen, listen, that Drake, that guy Drake is one of one, man. Oh, because, absolutely. Because he's created so many lanes. Like even if someone wants to make rap records, man, he could make Hotline Blings all day, and there's other. It's a great thing. And he could go into that lane and stay top dog. Drake is gonna be a hard one. Ja Rule medicine, no, he 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 he. He took you know, the Ja Rule medicine and, and, and ran, and he really thing. But he he's singing like Ja Ja's like a shower how do you singer. Feel, how do you feel? He's singing, yo, uh, I and I love something. it. And Gotti, I don't think me and you've had this conversation, but how do you feel when you heard the reference tracks and you Irv Gotti as being a person who's been behind behind <laughs> thirty five million records? I knew this guy was no, before you've it. been behind thirty five million records, Getting all of this. probably probably next to a hundred million records, right? right? Affiliated, I, 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 yeah. I, I, I just, you know, uh, how did how 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 did you feel when you heard re I'm, I'm, reference how tracks? How I failed a hundred at the time. A hundred percent. How I felt was wow, right? But then after I said wow. I now, also, what was your reason for wow? I'm because curious. in my era, we didn't do that. In my era, it was that would have been an assassination. <laughs> in my era, it, it, in like the '90s, early '90s, late '90s, if someone said, "Oh, uh, such and such writes Jazz Ron," they would stone him and get him out of here, and he would get ridiculed. And that's just the era we came up in with the dudes. But after I said wow, because that's the era I came up in, I quickly said. Nobody cares. I agree. You understand? I'm quickly said, this dude makes so, and on on his level, he's just making great records. So he's a different artist than most artists. You understand? And and don't get it. I remember when Alicia Keys came out with that record, that boom, and he wrote it, and Drake wrote that record. So he's in there writing. He may hand somebody a hit, and if he hears something, maybe he takes that or whatever. They just make him. I think I'm okay. They with just that. making you know music. And then got but it. to say here, to okay say with that, like if he wrote nothing that came out, he wrote nothing. Then I would be like, wait, wait a minute. I'm okay. But I with know this saying. guy was writing all of these massive hits, giving people massive hits. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like. I'm okay. Hold with, on, hold on. I'm but okay but, but before then, I believe, watch this. I'm I believe, with that. listen, I believe this was old news too. And this is something that I thought about. I believe Kanye West wrote the first song that he was singing on. What was the first song that he was singing on? Got it, got it. it was after his, his, uh, uh, tell me, you my yeah, everything. dabbling with it. When he came out with his first official album and he was singing, I heard Kanye wrote that. Probably right I heard he down. produced it and helped write it. So from there, it was always like, and you know, with this guy's a, a monster songwriter and a monster person who makes songs, right? Mm -hmm. When you make songs, it's a different premise for an R&B fucking person than hip-hop. I don't So think people, anything... he's not, he's hip-hop, and he's the hottest hip-hop nigga, but this dude is like, has a lot of shit to him. So, so now, songwriters, they accept... If someone else writes a song for them and they accept it, I think that's good. I think I, you know, Gotti. I, hey, nobody cares. No, I'm, I'm nobody cares. I'm, I'm on that, and I and I want to tell you something, Gotti. I'll be honest with you. I do believe that the movers and shakers, and I do believe that the tastemakers, I do believe that the people that matter still care. I'll tell you why. I think that. When I say care about it, meaning I think they still enjoy it. I think... Yeah, but if the guy was getting all of his lyrics written by someone, I get he it. He shouldn't... No, I... And, and, and I don't care, Flex. I know that dude is a monster. I sat with him in, in, in Canada he, and sat and talked to him. I and this he, dude... Hold on. This dude... This dude... I'm going to give you a, a conversation. This is when he had started from the bottom. And it was like the biggest hip-hop record. So I was with my record. man... Listen, I was with my man Drizzy in Canada. And I was like, yo... That record is a hip hop hit. 
and hip hop hits is different. In the club is a hip hop record that's a We're hit. We're gonna get back to our lean, 50 Cent talk. Listen, I, I kind of lean forgot, back. I know we lean it. back is like a hip hop record hit. So those records I feel are priceless jewels because they hit the hood, then they cross, and it's just eternally hot. So I was having a conversation with Drizzy, and he was like. I'll make another one. And I was like... I respect that. No, I was like, don't you dare say that. Like, it's nothing to make that. And me and him, and he was laughing. And I was like, you just can't make hip-hop hits like that. They're priceless jewels. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, my nigga dropped Believe Me. He dropped Zero to 100. He dropped multiple hip-hop record hits. I think, but... That dude, is a he's different. I think Gotti... I respected that motherfucker after that because I'm a nigga about hits. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's certain artists that I ain't going to name or whatever, but they have a big hit. And then I speak to them. I'm like, welcome to the game, nigga. You understand? Welcome to the game. And they looking at me. They looking at me. And I'm like, nigga, you can't. You made a hit. You made a hit record. So now you judged on that hit record. What you got? So now when you come out with that other record, that's like a a club banger or a street banger, and niggas go, ah, fuck you. Where's the hits, nigga? That's why, that's why I'm like, with Murder Rank, niggas say what they want. We six, seven years of hits. 35 million records. Affiliated 100. Now listen, <laughs> listen, we made hits after hits after hits. Because once you make a hit record, if you're an artist out there, once you deliver a hit record, they only think, want hit records you know what, from you. You know what, you know what Gotti, I think. <laughs> they don't want your snazzy little, little uh, album cut. Nah, nigga, they want hits. You know what, Gotti, I think that, I think that Drake is probably, I want to put him top two, three. He's one of, of one, of, man. Of, of, ever, of ever. The guy's one of one. And I think that he makes amazing records. And I'll tell you what else I like. I like his passion. You can tell he still has that passion for the music. Yeah. I, I must. He's I, a music but guy, I am, man. I am disappointed, Gotti. <laughs> I want, I'll only, and listen, my, his dis, my disappointment doesn't put him in a different rank. Where you, where are you disappointed in him at? Um, I I know I've uh, given him a hard time. <laughs> yes, you have. Yes, and I, and I and I don't want to go on to giving him a hard time. I yes, want to tell you, you something. Have. My disappointment is in. You know, I I firmly be, I believe Kanye doesn't write everything. That's just me, right? I I believe that too. I and, believe Kanye and I, and taking I believe, certain records and saying thank you. And, and I think gone. Kanye when he talks about. Being the best, or or or, I feel like he's talking to me from a rapper perspective, when he says I'm the best, or he's, when he's cocky, and I believe that Drake has a very very good understanding of the game. Mm -hmm. And what disappointed me was, Drake is absolutely a student of the game, and and him being a student is where my disappointment comes in. Why? Because he mentions. He'll say something about a big E or a fabulous or all the people he respect and the J's. Right. Now, those people he's saying you respect, you know, nigga, you know they write. They write they shit. And 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 I'm not and I'm not saying that's not good. He can do it. But it is a different category when it comes to being a lyricist right. and an entertainer. And when you're when you're popping and claiming top five, top five people should write. And that's the really how I feel. I, I understand. But I, as a, as a, a record seller, into, not, I want to. I don't want to. I, I don't want to roach him like an entertainer. Right. He's he's an artist. The guy's one on one, man. Yeah, he's but an I artist. Get, I get one hundred percent what and, you're and saying. And that's the only. You're saying if you saying your top five, you shouldn't accept no lyrics from anyone. Now, or or that is what's going on. You know what the answer I would I would have been, and it's not my decision to decide. You know what answer I was hoping to get from him. You know what. I collaborate with a few people, and that's that. Yeah, I'm but that's with, what it was probably. And and I'm good, like you know. But if you're claiming top five and you ain't really, and I and I want to be honest, I'm very, I am disappointed in the reference tracks because, you know what, Gotti, coming from where we come from, coming from where I come from, come from where you come from, in different circles and different things in the music game, when I hear, the, inf the, when I hear you using the ad lib, taking the breath in the same place that the guy. <laughs> Drop that verse, Gotti. He's that's, making the best record for but us. That's, that's, that's very hard for me. I want to be He's making honest. the best record. And, yes, but it's hard for me because even the amount of people you've been in the studio with, you know what the rules are. I can get a line or two. You can help me with my hook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. But we, we, we breeze from that. We that's my only that. disappointment. I got you. I got I'm, you. I'm not disappointed in his music, though. 
Listen, you brought up you brought up Kanye. I want to pose a question to you. Kanye, yeah. I didn't like the whole Taylor Swift Kanye shit. That shit, I, I hated now, it. Now, you didn't like what he said? I thought he was bullying her. And I was like, why are you bullying this no, little white right. girl, I think you're man. right. I think you're right. I I'm think like, you want to do that shit with no rapper? You know what I'm saying? Remember but, when he had a beef with Beanie Siegel and he was like, yo, you know, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't see, do the fighting I, thing. I, I'm like, you going to do it with You know what her? I like about Kanye? I want to be like, what I like about him? I didn't like that. I like Kanye. I, I like just that didn't, he says what's on his mind whenever because I feel like I'm like that. Yeah. So, so I, I guess don't I like him. Don't get me wrong. Him. I really like Kanye. Kanye is definitely one of the best artists of our generation. This guy's a genius. I give it no, to him. No, he don't want any I give smoke, it to him. though. But he bullied. No, Why, he, don't he bully Tay Tay. Don't, smoke. don't bully Tay Tay, yo. You ain't scoring no fucking points bullying Tay Tay. Nah, he, he doesn't want smoke. Who the fuck he's is, never said and, he wanted smoke. Yeah, but then they recorded her thing. Like if you talk, if if you call, oh. if you call Taylor Swift and you recorded, what the fuck you think <laughs> she gonna say? She on the phone with Kanye. She's gonna be like, okay, Kanye, whatever. She's scared to death. No, absolutely. and then you gonna record it and put it on blast. I hated that shit because I'm like, if you a bully, it wasn't clean. It wasn't bully, clean. You're right. If you a bully, Debo it, nigga. Bully everybody. And I'm saying, yo, that's just what he do. He a bully. Now, but you know, goddamn well, nigga, if Wu Tang was on that stage, you wasn't gonna grab the mic from all fucking RZA and say nah. like, hold on, RZA, I'm gonna give you a second. You wouldn't hey. did that shit, nigga. They would have laid him out. They laid him out right there. Up. So you did it with Taylor. Just leave her alone. Then you gonna call and just, I, I hated that whole shit. I don't like bullies. I really don't. Now, I, I have. A, I really dislike bullies. Now, now for, and I could be a bully if I wait, want. Just yeah, to Gotti, be crystal hold up, fucking man. clear. Wait, look, look, wait, Gotti. Just to be crystal clear, I could be a bully, nigga. Wait, wait. Don't get it twisted on what you think wait, of, of, of God, Irv Gotti or Murder Inc. If I wanted to bully niggas in these streets, me and my niggas could bully but niggas. that's not so, where you're at. You're no, good no, police. I'm a good guy, but that's why I hate seeing a bully. That's why it bothered me. See, I'm gonna tell you now. You, I that feel funny now. Me. I feel funny Tay -tay. now about asking any more Fifty Cent questions. Nah, because now, the now I feel. I feel no, like, no. I don't ask no, the answers. Now I feel questions. the answers are gonna be. Because there's gonna be some aggression. No, no, there's no aggression. <laughs> there's, aggression with, there's aggression with. I don't want it. There's aggression with Kanye I on bullying Tay Tay. I'm gonna don't bully Tay Tay. There's yo. nothing more that I want. I want to be honest with you. Don't bully Tay Tay. I'm gonna tell you something. And I, I don't even wait, know Tay Tay. Got it. Don't bully. Stop bullying. She look like a nice girl. Leave and, and, her the fuck alone, listen, nigga. I, I, I want to also say to you, Tay Tay man, need to get with a gangster and then bully her then. Yeah, I bet you you raised the fuck up off her then. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, now, what's 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 Ja and 50's energy like? There's no energy. Like, when I mean like talk, never talk. They knew each other. Hey, hey, hey. They knew each other. No, they prior didn't. Prior to that. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Oh, I thought they did. Here's the story, and if we want to rehash no, this, no, no, I thought, I'm going to rehash it because it's Flex, but, guys, no, and I'll give Flex whatever. No, but whatever. this is what I thought. I thought he knew you guys prior. No. I did not know that. No, he didn't know us. He probably knew of us. Got it. Got you understand? Like, I don't want to downplay him or get him to start talking about me because I don't want to do that, you know. So you didn't you, know each you other. Do what you do. I'll do what I do. And, and, you know and, what I'm saying? But I, we didn't know him. Okay, got it. Now, what he comes to say, of his version of the beef is, it was like we did a show at Trafalgar Square with Preem. <laughs> and he was there with some guy who had robbed Ja of his watch or something like that. So he was like, oh, they ain't fuck with me or whatever. But, nigga, we don't know you. Mm. I'm sorry. So you I didn't like shake maybe, your hand so you, next you, time. You, so you know, you I'll sign your autograph, nigga. What the wait, fuck? Wait, wait, but so nigga? you so you feel like you feel like Fifty felt that you that you guys were snubbing him. Snubbing him for what? No, we but don't is know that, you. Is that, but is that the energy that that came from? Listen, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not. I'm not anything like that. I'm. My life is great. I'm, this is coming from a great place. You're just I'm just happened. talking with Flex. I didn't know him. Oh, so you never met him before that. I didn't know him from a hole in the wall. I didn't know him. So ja Rule didn't know him. So that incident, because so you know who knew him? Black Child, because of uh, Jam Master J. They always was fuck. Oh, they, so they, they were cool. Black Child knew him. They were friends. Cordial. Cordial guy. I'm gonna say friends. He, he knew of them. Black Child's the only one that says, "Yeah, so I when, knew so of this when, rapper name." So when Fifty had How to Rob, you guys didn't know him. I didn't know that nigga. Now you know when he did how to rob, he, he you know he shitted on everybody and said he done robbing. So everyone then I knew of him then knew like him. how everyone you know else knew of him. Yeah, but I don't know. I ain't know the nigga. I ain't know him from nothing. Okay. I don't know you. You understand? I don't know him. And then he just came out of nowhere. It's like fuck murder rank, which is all good. I understand. But you were. You I understand. Remember, though, we you, on top the, of the world. Yeah, yeah, but, we want what I, we got. But nigga. but 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 in, in in the history of the game now and how it flowed on twenty years later. Right. Everybody who climbed to the top 
would always be attacked by someone. Not necessarily. A lot of times, like it, you know what Drizzy I mean. Drizzy didn't have to attack shit to be the, on the top. Um, Drizzy didn't attack nobody. He's no, on top he, because no, that nigga's no, nice. No, uh, 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 Wayne. He got put on. He got put on. Super, super, super put on. He got super put on. I don't, hottest guy in the building. Hottest guy in the world. Listen, Wayne co-signed him. I, you know what I'm saying? But it's just the the the. Fifth. But a lot of times, rappers now that we we may sometimes and look a lot of times a rap. I, I feel sometimes young rappers, I won't give all the situations because I don't right. want to have them, but I feel like rappers will either flip on the nigga who put them on or flip on That's some, or say something about someone else right. and now the blogs pick it up right. and now, you know, everyone watches you for a second. Right. Even though that may not have been 50s thing at then, right. I'm just saying how the history book is played out. Right, Is right. that, that has... That was the first time we saw that. Uh, we didn't see two t- crews. That was a big thing. We didn't you know see saying? two. So I just wanted to be over though. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, if it wasn't true, I would probably be like, "Come on, dog, it's 20 years ago. I want to talk about this." But look no how more. close I am like, to Irv, and and I know him. I really don't know what happened. You know why? Because shit was so volatile. People really wasn't talking about that shit around us. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, you know what I'm saying? People didn't want to have that conversation. They may not have known how we was going to react. Well, well, people were also. In 2017, the keeping it 100 vibe has gone all the way. It wasn't that back. No one, more, no one was keeping it 100 back then. You were kind of like, oh, I'm just not gonna bring it up. Right? He said the keeping 100 vibe is all but gone. Oh, it's like level 20 now. Like, <laughs> I hate the toothpaste that you're using. You're like, it's just you know, nigga, go all the way. Now. I know, but, I got you. But you know what I'm saying? It's just like it, 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 it's a moment in hip hop history, though. It's crazy. So, so now. And I, because I don't remember how things happened, the trial. So, because I recently, maybe when you signed your deal, I saw people put up the footage, which I forgot about. Yeah. When you came out the courthouse. Fucking right. And how you saw a kid. Talking it, from know, the heart. It, actually, absolutely. They and, tried um, to take my life. You I'll know what I'm saying? Honest, it, was just a, it was just a one step process. If I would have got, if I would have got, if I would have got uh, uh, found guilty, I was going for the rest of my life because they was going to pin me with, you know what I'm saying, with all kinds of shit. That's what they was trying to do. So that's why... What I, were the charges? I don't even remember. It was money laundering. They were saying that I was giving Preem uh, checks. I was writing checks for Preem and he was giving me drug cash. Okay. It's never. So, you know, when I saw that footage of you, Gotti, first I said, damn, this was pre-Instagram time because yeah, it was funny I, on Instagram. I would have went viral. Uh, <laughs> and, um... It was I real think low. me, even me, I want to say even me for myself, Gotti, I didn't really a hundred percent understand what you was going through because I, uh, I I'd never sat in that seat. Hell. And 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 it was. You don't never want to go through me, that. But it was. But when I say I never sat through it, meaning. It's funny how we watch people now in social media want to give off the impression that they may have done a little time or some crime or some credibility. No, no, yeah. <laughs> and then, but when I saw your clip, I was like, yo, bro, this was real. Like, this was yo, a real you know, trial. You know, it's funny. I, there's I, no I, trials for these niggas. Niggas nah, are just saying listen, they did something. You know saying, right. It's funny because I say that I'm like, the, every all these rappers, they talk about, yo, the feds is on me and I'll be laughing because I'm like, nigga, no, you don't want not. that. No, and if not. they on you, nigga, they coming. You understand? So they're not really on you. And you, you change how you it's a good rap. World. It's a good. It's a good rap lyric or whatever. But it's like, nigga, was it sh- only you on trial? Me and my brother, Chris. It, and, and, and it was just you and Chris. Me and Chris. And how did it get for you after the trial? It was a black ca- cloud over my head. So even though I got found acquitted, corporate America and executives still thought I was guilty. Now, did you did you was it not allowing you to get a job? Was it not allowing you to get? You were still the were you still through, Were you still being distributed by the Def Jam? The, the U, United States government sent a letter to the Universal Music Group, and they said if you give Irving Lorenzo or Irv Gotti one dollar, y'all gonna be his co-defendants. That basically cut all ties. He wasn't giving me shit. And you and you never did you ever get back into another building after that? Yeah, I got back when I got acquitted. I got back to the building. Doug Morris gave me a deal with Universal Motown, but Universal Motown and me, it was not the right mix. Okay, so that's when you I call just, it Murder Inc. Was it Murder Inc.? It was the Inc. Which I hate that name. Now you're back at Murder Inc. And I ain't never kill me before I change it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like when I changed the Inc., Leo kind of convinced me 
He said, you need to do it. Just take the murder off. And then we did that stupid ass press conference. And if you look at my face the whole time, I'm disgusted mm. because murder rank is what I built and what I believe in. And I ain't do nothing wrong. And now you making me change it. And it really took like I didn't I didn't never like the, the ink. I hate that shit. I hate that fucking well, shit. Now listen, so Gotti. that's why I took the hiatus, though. So so we're, we're covering all aspects of the game. Yes. Because me and you haven't, you know. And you know what? I'll be honest, Gotti. Even you've come up to my show and you've, you've done things before. And even when I talk to you personally on the phone or on a text, I... I I never do like the tea thing with Gotti. Like, I, if there's something where I never, so I want to go back. I want to go back. Artists, you have artists. You know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, there's artists. I might have asked you once in your private, and you laughed. You laughed. I, I, and I was needling him on the phone. Okay, and we're gonna keep it a buck today, Gotti. I mean, you know the talks, man. All right. Ashanti. Yes. I. I I need to know. <laughs> you know what I'm. Ashanti, you know where I'm going. Ashanti just went. Ashanti. Wait. Don't fast forward. They're asking me these questions. <laughs> it is flex, so I'm gonna answer them. Right. <laughs> you know, I've always heard the talk, and I don't know if you've ever said it anywhere else, and maybe I didn't hear it. Go ahead. That you and Ashanti had a relationship. Yes. I don't intimate. Look, look at that. Look, look at God. He's so, he's so, he's so uh, into it's all good. Nah, it's, all <laughs> it's all good. Like, I that, think, I think everyone knows at this point we had a relationship. Okay. You know what I'm saying? She got to murder rank. Cause, she, which I had no idea, by the way. When she first got to murder rank, right? When she first got to murder rank, I really didn't have time for it because I was doing Jay Z, DMX, and Ja Rule. Okay. Right? So I said, yo, be a studio rat. You know what I'm saying? If you just be a studio rat and just come through, and you know, maybe if I find a record for you. So boom, I was at I was with Deb at the time. I was with my with my, your wife, my wife exactly. Right. So contrary to anyone, what you're thinking, Shani had nothing to do with the demise of me and Deb. I was off the fucking hook, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And Deb, kicked congratulations! Me. I was off the <laughs> fucking hook, and Deb kicked me out of the you're house. Yeah, yeah, hot. Yes, I was stabbing, hot, hot and yeah, stabbing, hot and stabbing, and I got kicked out. The Wonderful, house, right? <laughs> So Deb did the right thing and kicked me out the house. And then when I got kicked out of the house, I was basically living in the studio. And I was God, yeah, I made a few mistakes too. I know, it's, it happens. <laughs> We're so, on our page. That's, uh, just Deb you know. is like my best I'm friend. I'm here with now. you. Deb is I'm my best listening. friend, and it's a better thing. So all you women out there, it was for the best. And me and Deb is still aces. We still love and care for each other, and that's that, right? So now I'm in the studio. I'm basically living in the studio. I'm still wilding out. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. now I'm out the house, so I'm really wilding what out. What the fuck? Right. <laughs> I'm really wilding out. And, and you know, it that's happened. when things happen. Now, so the reason why I'm getting but to that. But later, it had nothing to do with Deb or whatever. I was on my own. This is, what, this is whatever. You're having a relationship, yeah, yeah. making great music. Great music. Which makes a lot of fun, and all you think is this money you're chopping Great music. Up. And it was exciting. L listen, and that's what I think, I think, uh, when things like that happen and you're having such big success and you're breaking records, you're making you're making great this great music. Y'all got a vi a vibe, a bond, and a whole Gotti energy. And, and, it's and, exciting. And God, you're and conquering finish, finish the world all. together. And, and good sex, it's making it like it's a movie. Good sex is a catalyst of great. Can we music. have some more? Have you seen pictures <laughs> of Ashanti lately? She looks great. Like it's like is, is, she, is she turning the clock back? She could be turning the clock backwards. I have absolutely no interest. In no, 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 I wasn't taking you there, guys. None at all. No, no, no. She looks great. No, no, I just want to know if you saw what oh, I saw. Oh, great. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> I have no interest at all. Wait, wait, I don't want to. Why is man? This is another <laughs> thing, man. Because like, why? Why is Nelly so uptight? I, like he has this thing with you Nelly's guys. My, nah, Nelly's my no, man. No, but at the time, at the at time, the time yeah, there was some yeah. crunch. It was some crunch. Why? Because we was with the same chick. No, but I mean, but you could be with the. Oh, come on, we've all just people been with the same chicks, and nah, men different. usually keep it moving. Like you, it's you, it's you feel an extra energy, like met, like rec, like he, he was. Taking his time out to like, you know, the one record he had with Rick Ross. He said you would say yeah, that something. Was the bro. Like, that was the record. But, but why was he so but emotional never, about it? I mean, did you and him ever talk about it? He he had put her in a video. Okay, like, is that how you found out about it? No, I found out about it because they was doing things in their public figures. Oh God, got it. Okay, so but they they was in a video. It was that country video. I think he put Ciara in it. 
Mm -hmm. But at first, it was Ashanti in it. So okay. he, he had called me because, you know, she's my artist. And I was like, remove her from that fucking video, dog. You understand? Uh, right. Oh, uh, I got it, got it, got it. Did you know what? Which could have been, like, salty on the, my part. At the time, you, you, like, you, 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 you was saying? dating at the time? You and Ashanti? Me and Ashanti never officially was together. We, 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 we hanging. We was chilling. Okay, so then this happens. It's never officially like, yo, that's my girl. Now, was that from the perspective of your artist's brand that you remove him? It could have been salty. I could have been salty. I, I could admit it now. I could have been like, yo, you got in the video? Nah, get that shit out of here. She murder Hank, nigga. Mm -hmm. It's okay. not Dirty ENT. It's murder INC. Take that shit out of there. Got you. So got it, was, you. it was like. But he did call out of respect and asked. And, me and, and Nelly is courting. actually, I really like the guy. Good now. Oh, we're aces. He plays poker. I play poker. We kept bumping heads. And we just had a conversation. And we just talked. And I really like him. He's a good dude, yo. Like, mm -hmm. he's, I, I have nothing but great uh, things to say about him. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, at that point, you know, everyone, I'm in my feelings. He got in his feelings, Cause maybe. Because I didn't 100% know. <laughs> and I would ask him. I was like, yo, what's, what's the, why is he crunchy? And then, <laughs> and then I would just ask, like, you know, I don't think he was really lovers. crunchy. Music lovers. It it was just, nah, it, it, it's just one of those things, you know what I'm saying? So what is your and Ashanti's relationship now? Uh, I, I haven't spoken to her in a minute. She's a little mad at me because I am. Um, and Ashanti, I'm going to take this time out to apologize again. <laughs> nah, I got to, man. I want to apologize to Ashanti again. Why is she mad? Because um, she had a song. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't bump it. But I, I did it dirty a little bit. I promised I was gonna. <laughs> I you shouldn't do that. I th <laughs> shouldn't do that, yo. You should just keep it real. Like you and, know what I'm saying? But, and I, and I keep it hundred. I did like Dude, it. I swear nah, to God, nah, nah, God. nigga. You've kept it real with me on certain regular. No. You'd be like, God, yeah. No. I don't I remember didn't really who feeling, it. And I'd I be really, like, cool. I really did like it, and I swear to God, I forgot. And then by the time the next time I saw her, I didn't like it that much. No. If you forgot, Flex. no, 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 I did. You know why? Because my bloggers told me, "I'm telling you, this is Shanti record. It's a good record." Mm -hmm. And I said, "No." Nah. Then when I saw, her, I said, oh, "Shanti, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that." And I think I saw in Miami, at a restaurant, and I said, "I promise, I got you when I get back." And then I saw her someplace else, and she, and she was, she, you know, Stop she makes you, she nigga. makes you feel bad. Yeah. Flex, she's like a a a, a young Gotti. Flex, man. I'm like, oh man. And I think she. Yeah, she's like a young Gotti. And then Flex. I think I might have I might have hit on Twitter or something, and she made it. She was like, Nah, but you know every artist. Fix it up. Every every artist has to wear that. You know what I'm saying? Everyone ain't gonna like every record. Mm -hmm. Everyone's thing. You gotta wear that, yo. Just make and another record. You gotta keep coming, yo. Now where's Ja Rule's stance in terms of making music? And where does he fit in this new Murder Inc. fold? Ja is my brother, and Ja built Murder Inc. So anything Murder Inc. is Ja's 100% by my side, period, end of story. Ja, to me, I know people are like, that's your man, so you say these things, but Ja is still, he's super talented. The dude is, like, incredibly talented. So I have visions and ideas of how we could do things or whatever, but now it's more about the Boogie Birds, the Fitted mm -hmm. Circles, the Alexis, you know, you know what I'm songs. saying? That. And let's try and get them going and build some new energy and new things, and then maybe let's have some fun once we have this energy or whatever. But Jaws like- I want that Mary Ja record, bro. I got you. But yo, Jaws like in a different place also because he's like- you know he's a he's a businessman now. He got other business ventures. You know he had a bad thing with fire. Everyone had it to thing, but really, yeah, it was a bad thing um, or whatever. But really, it's like. Well, tell me, explain to me, Gotti. I know that the thing happened with fire, and I know that there was the. Event he has a part that didn't that 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 it that didn't look well. I guess when they got there, and there was some money that they wasn't paid. ready. They should have punted. They should have just canceled until they was fully ready. Okay. They didn't do it because they was gung ho and ambitious and wanted to get this thing off. It start raining. Next thing you know, everything gets fucked up. You're dealing with Bahamians who, you know, they move slow anyway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it just became oh, this big bad. How thing. does how does Ja Rule plan to? And how do they plan to, you know, has a lot make of, it better? He has a lot of people behind him with, like, investors and stuff like that. And Ja has a hell of a brain. Like, he has different ideas I that think he's going to do. I think I know why But ja as far as Murder Rank, he's always, anything that I do with Murder Rank or anything I do really in general, like, rule is with it. 
know what I'm saying? And we support each other with blind faith and blind love like that. So it goes without saying how he's going to be and what he's going to be with me. You just said um, earlier that Ja Rule was probably not good with me. And I didn't say that. I no, said it was I wanna, probably a little sting as every, sting. As every artist. Something. I'm quite sure when Meek Mills is in the club and they're playing back to back when it first came out, it stings this nigga. No, I, I think now, now he had posted something where he's li- he was listening to, to back to back or whatever. Took a long time. It, he, but he did. Hey, it's like that. Now, I think, you know, John might be probably mad at me for something else too. See, I, I, I like coming clean. Come clean, Flint. I come clean. And I want to tell the story. So, you know. I'll I, let you know if he's mad at Not me. mad, but I can see why me hey. playing that song. Which song? I was, uh, just my, 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 my playing the 50 records, not just musically, but, you know, for people who don't know, my television show on Spike TV, mm-hmm. I, I, didn't, I didn't get green lit. I didn't, have, I didn't have a show. And Ja, at the time when he was selling 10 million albums, he did a shot. Show. He did the pilot. Yes. He did the pilot. I mean, that's how we rock and, with you. And he, like, did, you he, know did, what it is. he did the pilot on the phone call. And I did the pilot. I took it to Spike TV. And what because I had Ja at his home with his cars. Right. Which Ja at the time wasn't very open about his personal. Personal. Right. And that was very big for me at the time in the Viacom building. That I had Ja and it it showed not just my pull, but my, my how I was in the car community. Right. So I could see where Ja was not was was going. Not only is this thing <laughs> the records, but I think I ha- and I had ended up having fifty on that show. Like it was probably like we get it. And Flex. I was there with him with the pilot. God damn, Flex say what, what the fuck? I but I ain't, I, like I don't trip off of shit like that because it's the business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you playing a 50 record, nigga, if the nigga's hot and the records is hot, he's the hottest nigga in the country. How could you not play it? Correct, correct. I you mean... Understand? So at, at that point, at that juncture, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you got to play his shit. You know what I'm saying? Period. Did you... that? Were there any thoughts before you... Because I remember when you posted about Murder, Inc., <laughs> right? Like recently. That shit went viral, yeah. Yeah, I, like, like, like. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even expect. How it long to get did it that take viral? you to decide I'm gonna do this label again? I, I decided it honestly once Benny Boom introduced me to Fitted Circle out in Atlanta, mm. and I went to the studio with Fitted Circle, and these dudes was like monster talents, right? And I felt the vibe and energy, and I start feeling like again, how you excite me is you being talented. Once you're talented, I'm like, woo, I'm gonna make another record with them or whatever. So then I was feeling good, you know, my brother Chris and his adventures thing had Boogie, had mm-hmm. Boogie Bird. So Boogie then came to Atlanta because the tour was, it was a tour, the tour was passing through <coughs> Atlanta. When Boogie came to Atlanta, he made this record called Troy's Theme, which I'm going to give to you later, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we, uh, we need you on We Need Now. But he made this record and it blew, it blew me away. It blew me completely away because it wasn't like, even though he's 23 years old, it wasn't like he was like a 23 year old. So you rapper. did not have the Murder Inc. thoughts. Yet. I didn't have that thought yet. I did not have that thought. Then after we made that record, I kept sending Alexa records to do because I have to do all the music for Tales, which is coming June 27th on mm-hmm. BET, right? So I sent. Alexis some records and then I sent the, the boogie record that he did that I loved and had her get on it and I was like yo I got some talent here and every time I threw Alexa record fit a circle record and boogie record they was hits is that the way you used to do it before when you had a and Ja you yeah just I mean throw, throw them in, throw them songs let them build them yeah right? I mean with with like Ashanti and Ja I believed in them are like so I would make a beat and I couldn't wait to give it to them to see and, what we was gonna make. And not to say because I know you have uh your new artists and you've had artists in the past. Yeah. You know, and only because I'm listening to you and remembering. <laughs> right. You know, um you, I don't remember many people you would take an artist from a cold flat front never heard right like that was unheard of right and and they they still don't do that 
And I, I, I think even with Ashanti, I remember you saying, "Yo, Flag," and I used to be like, "Who, Gotti?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> you like, I knew I had a record uh, though. Uh, Foolish was a record. Yeah, yo. no, and then, and then, and then um, but you the game changer. And um, you, you are uh, probably, and even back then, you understood the art. And I didn't realize this to talking to you now. You understood the art of. You were very good at making. I don't want to say no one, but because Ja was very unknown too. Yes. You know, you 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 were always good at the record getting big and making the artist catch up to the size of the song. Yeah. Like you know, now you'll have records that are as big as Ja's, and I don't know who made them. Right. You know, that's what's missing to to make true stars. But we back in the game. I'm gonna make some true stars. Yo. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not even fucking playing. Yeah. I'm gonna make some true stars. Like I already got visions for all of these acts up here on how I want to perceive them, the look. When we shot Boogie's video and we shot Fitted Circles video, when you see it, it's a vibe and the energy. And I think that's kind of a who's void the, that's who's missing. Who's the artist you had again that had that record? If you don't give a fuck. Uh, uh. That was the murderer's record. You but, used to kill that record but, but, too. But, that was a tunnel record too. Oh it was God. the it was the uh, Rocky shit. Oh my I don't God. give a fuck. Like we don't give a fuck. Though your motherfucking fingers in Daddy, the air. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the people who give the best talk. That record about has records. so much energy, yo. Irv Gotti, DJ Khaled, <laughs> and Fat Joe. <laughs> Yo, gave the best and like, like when they give say you the vision on what oh, to play, like, and then I'd be like, so tell me, Wells, and you, you know when you, yo, I'm still one of those DJs in New York, but I'll say yo, play for me over the phone, play like, for me over yeah, like I'm one of those guys. I'll be like, if they tell me, I'm like, nah, let me, let me just hear it. I need to right. understand what it is before you send it to me an email. Like, right. I need to just get a vision, and uh, it's it's amazing that um, that quality. Has uh, passed on. Dame to uh, Jay Z because when Jay Z wasn't with Dame, Still. I used to like his energy when he called me about a song. Oh, Jay, Jay it, definitely like, has, described it. Jay has mind fucking ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 the the quality in the product always is is is, is what up. it is. Fast forwarding, not that much fast forward, but you know I want to get to your personal again. So nah, you know, listen, I'm I'm skipping around here. Go go. So go. He asked me the young lady, are you still involved? And I want to say is Ashley that, Martell. Ashley, is that still wow, your... she hit your radar. That's yeah. big. That's big, yo. That's big. Yo, Ashley Martell, on, you're me. big out there. Got you. Let me got tell you why. I'm gonna tell you about no, no. this. Yo, the Ashley I'm gonna tell Martell. You why. I'm gonna tell you what hits me on my on my radar. You know, Gotti, your Instagram gives present and knowledge. Yes. So you you'll you'll, you'll give a, a I give good I like story to drop about, a jewel. How something happened. I like to inspire. Give her what's going on too. Absolutely. Okay, so are you and her still an item? We are not an item anymore and let me tell you how I have nothing but great things to say about Ashley Martell. She loved me. I loved her but it, it, it came a point when I was shooting tales, she didn't like me messing with actresses. She didn't like me mm. If there was a, you know, who's that? I'm well, like, Gotti, she's an you extra. Know, the track record, yeah, the she, track record. Yeah, bro. and I get it, and I get it, but just to let everyone know, like, that's who's that's, the young lady you used to always have in your videos? And I, this, I'm not asking you anything. I just remember number it. love for Ashley Martell. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll get back to Ashley, but yeah. God, I forgot her. Like Gloria Velez, I remember seeing her in your videos. Yeah, I remember Gloria's seeing people. You, it is, but you used to put a lot of. Uh, Hot to chicks. break a lot of people. Yeah, I broke you know, Gloria. Help broke with uh, holla holla and you know big pimping that that helped break her. Now back to Ashley. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is recent broke up. Yes. But this was this was relationship were out out and going. We was out and going. I, I'm telling you, loved her. Had the best year. We was together for like a year. We had a ball. It wasn't until I start shooting tales. With well, could trouble. she not come I with you there, or she couldn't hang out there, or? I, 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 listen, after Ashley, I don't. I know women. You may not like to hear this, but I'm convinced all of y'all are completely fucking crazy. Now, I you understand. Want so to even agree when listen, there's some never, craziness. Listen, I never. Maria, listen. I I'm never clean cheated. myself up. <laughs> so, yeah, listen. He said, "Let me clean I'm, my I'm shit." I'm gonna keep it hundred. How, how that's, <laughs> let me tell you how that's really on my radar too. Shout out to Marie. Marie, I love you. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, your gram was on her radar. So she'd be like, you know, I see your man. Hey, what you seeing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Maria. Yo, yeah. I'm not allowed to hang out with French Montana. Yeah, yeah. Because, but yo, um, here, she when saw, I was, she listen. saw boat rides. Listen, Maria, I love you. Listen. I'm not allowed. Listen, when I was with Ashley, there was no, I didn't have, there was, 
no cheating at all. We was together every day. Okay. And so I was and it. and I loved it. And I loved it. I'm telling you, it was the weirdest thing because we broke up because it's kind of like she made me cho made me choose between tails and her. But and did I'm she like, say it or not really? She said it. You no, felt it. She 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 bugged out anytime anyone, you know, wanted to be in tails. That was a female. Now, I said, Ashley, Gotti, listen, unfortunately, there's going to have to be some chicks Gotti, in listen. this fucking TV series, yo. Gotti, you I can't be on, like Professor I'm, Clump and you're like Eddie Murphy and you play every chick and shit, you know what Gotti, I'm saying? I, I only asked you about Ashanti, right. right? And I've asked you about Ashley. Right. Because that's, because you, cause you, you, those things are out there. Now, Gotti, you have. Two different people. We, absolutely, but Gotti, you know. If I, was I would going, never tell on if, you. Listen, you if have I was, an interesting track record of bad ones. I have a good track record. Yeah, so yes. I could see maybe where she might have been concerned. Nah, you understand the concern? She, sh she shouldn't have been. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is to all the ladies that. <laughs> look, look, look at his whole. Look at his whole shit. <laughs> listen, oh, and so this is to crazy. all the ladies that's listening. Oh my the god. The thing with me guy. is this. The thing with me is this. And this is what I tried to explain to Ashley. I'm like, yo, I'm I'm 40. To y'all, you explain. I'm to 46, right? Mm -hmm. I'm all fucked out. Divorced. Divorced. Divorce. <laughs> listen, I'm all fucked out, ladies. So really. If no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I, I've been around the block. I'm, I've been around the block, ladies. So yeah. what I say, this is a good thing for them because radius, what I, block radius. Listen, block. listen. I'm all radius. fucked out, and what I mean by to say by that is dead serious. If I get with someone who's as hot as Ashley Martell and the sex is out of this world, I do not need to fuck Congrats. anyone else. Nice. Nice. Like I do not need to. I do not need anyone else. And she didn't understand this or or, or or fully embrace it. And then when you're on, when I'm on the set, second off, like you ain't gonna really be questioning me. I know when I'm being a fucked up nigga, right? So if I'm being a knight in shining armor, I'm not gonna be answering your your idiot questions because you're insecure well, or now, whatever. Now wait, you're 46. I don't, how old was she, roughly? 21. Oh God. <laughs> She's, I not like gonna, she's not gonna see. She's not gonna. She's not gonna see <laughs> let, the way. Let Tad gave you the salute. <laughs> She's not gonna. She's well, not she gonna was, see you. She's listen, not gonna understand. Listen, listen, Ashley. She's Mark. not gonna grab. You know, at twenty one, Gotti. She was a different twenty one. Listen, at twenty one. And I know right, people may if say, "Oh, the mailman oh, that's what came to your girlfriend's door." You're like, who the fuck is he? Nah, at twenty one. Listen, let me. Listen, I never had to worry about her cheating on me. That, the, like, that's why I said it was a weird ending because it had nothing to do with infidelity or cheating. Well, here, I nothing. Wanna, I, let me ask you a question. Nothing was on there any either strain, part. Here, now, was there any strain on the relationship when? There was a videotape that hit, correct? Oh, the videotape. Wait, oh, wait, God. wait, wait, wait. Was there oh, any... Oh, my God. Wait. Flex. No, nah. come on. It, we got to It talk. was no strain. Wait, this, wait, wait. It was no strain. Wait, wait. <laughs> we was together every day. It was no, no strain. No, I know, but... Because, look. It was no strain. God, like, me? This I'm going to ask. This guy digs wait. deep. Yo, God. Yo, God. I, I keep track of the music, but I keep... You I, keep track I, of the uh, social media or shit. Or else I'd be out at a job. I, I got you. Okay, I got you. So, wait a minute. Go ahead. You're together. Relationship. Yes. Now, I, like, did she tell you that? Now, there was a tape. We got to talk about it. No, 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 no. Nah, no, this, one, this one I'm not going to talk about. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to talk about this one. But I'm going to tell you there was no strain. We was together every day for did about a year. Did it catch you off guard? I'm not gonna. Yo, he did the it. queen shit <laughs> this time. I'm not out, gonna explain that one. That's when you count money, nigga. I'm like, not gonna explain wait, that wait, one. That one is that this? that one is my my own private personal business. I'm not gonna explain that one. Okay. But, but I'm telling you, it was no speed bump. It was no. We was together every day, my nigga. Every day. Okay. What happened that that deteriorated deteriorated us was I had to go Here's to work. My, but this <laughs> is my question to you, because me, I know how difficult it is. For us as men, because look, you're married, I, you were married, I was married, you're divorced, I'm divorced, my nigga, we're divorced for the same reasons. <laughs> right? So I want to put us, right? So <laughs> I know it is, I'm keeping it a buck, my nigga. You keeping it a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I know how it is as men, how we try to explain shit. Right? right? Because even with guilt, there is. Let's just talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, right. yeah. So what I'm asking you is because it was no guilt. On there. the other, no, no. On the other side, I'm trying to understand a 21 year old. 
How did she explain to you no explaining. that tape? Just read through the lines. It was no explaining. You know, not, not, no, man, you, you and her hadn't even talked about it. No explaining. Read through the lines, and that's all I'm going to say. There was nothing to explain. It was nothing to explain. It was a mistake. Got it. Got it. It was a mistake, and it was nothing to explain. And I'm telling you, it had no speed bumps and no relevance. It, it was. It had so that was none. prior, anyway. We was on vacation there. We was having a ball, yo. Moving. Yeah, for that year, I had a ball, and like I could honestly say, until this day, she she loves me, and I still love her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But she's crazy. Now and my, I think a, a lot of women out there now, is crazy, and I can't like if I'm in the midst of doing something great. Tales is coming out June 27th, and I'm he, telling you, I I'm telling more, everyone, I got, I got you. I'm telling everyone, it's like the best shit that's gonna be on television. And unfortunately, I'm so focused in a driven individual and me wanting to be great mm -hmm. that, yo, anything that comes in the way of that, you're going to get, gotta you, go. got, you got to get away from me. Now, Even if I love you, my mother, my mother, if she got in the way of tails, I'll be like, mom, get the fuck away from me right now, yo. You understand? Just so you know, and I love, I worship my mother. If you follow me on Instagram, yes, Nini, I worship Nini. If she was in the way... I would be like, get the you fuck go. out of my way, mom. You, you understand? That's who I am as Just a person. Said you're 46. 46. And she's 21. 21. Here's my question to you. Shoot. Did the fact, because you was posting a heavy on the gram. Yeah. Was that bringing around a lot of other young ladies hollering at you? I ain't gonna lie, she was so hot. <laughs> look, 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 look! She was so hot. Cause that was the point I was like, I know that hollering. She was so hot that chicks uh, absolutely. They were on you. And, but it wasn't just that. It was they seen what I what I was doing for her as well. Yeah. Because if you seen her before me when she was with Taz's Angels and everything nah, like that, her. she had a thing. I changed. Her I didn't look. know who she was. I put that. Just that you know, I didn't know her. who she was until so when you were chicks, put on the ground. Listen, I did not know who. She I got was. you, but when you when I put that stink on her, chicks love that stink. You know what I'm saying with yo, but I be like this when they be like, Gotti, you you know you go hard for these chicks or whatever." But I'm like, "Nigga, what the fuck you so want me to do?" Listen, I'm around, like, "I'm I'm, you, I'm Irv Gotti, you, right? You, I'm going to chill with fucking Hove and B. I, you gotta go shopping. You understand? We got you can't be going there in the motherfucking totally American Apparel yo, shit. Gotti. You got to shine, Gotti, bitch. You understand? I'm on your page. Yeah, so hey, Maria, you know I like to shop. This <laughs> 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 nigga is crazy. Shopper, bro. This thing is good. Look at you, man. Front on us. Yeah, fucking right. So when I'm saying with women, when they see Absolutely. when they seen that and they seen the things that I did for and how I was open and tell the world that I loved her, which I'm still doing right now. Mm -hmm. Because there ain't no fronting in me. I am I'm hundred so percent cool work, in my I, I got another question. Did you work yourself back to anything that was hanging around? No. Like then it, <laughs> no, I had no interest. Flex, I'm dead serious, yo. I have no reason. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't Listen, work like that. Up until this point, I've been speaking so much honesty and truth. There's no reason for me to lie. Okay, here. okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? There's no reason for me to lie. I had no interest in no one else. She had No, no, me. after, after. And I wanted to rock with her. I wanted her to be by my side when I reached the mountaintop and she was there. But she fucking went crazy. Why? Who is this? Well, in, She's in, an extra. In, I don't even know this motherfucker. No, in defense, and you're gonna fucking stop asking me who these bitches are, yo. I need to. Guy, I need to be. But, right. so you that know that's be what, the case. Wait, 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 wait. But you gotta be fair about something. That us, could be the case. Us, look, I'm in my. I'm in my late forties. I'm in my late forties. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm listening to Gotti. I don't give a fuck. Gotti, us as fuck. being our late forties, we nigger. know what I comes don't. with twenty one. It does. I was it comes like we we know what comes. Right. I was so I was foolish it, to think that no, it wouldn't have been that. Some stuff was expected. Like, uh, like, I'll be honest. She may have been 21, but to me, she was carrying herself like she was 30 and better. That's who she I was. wasn't. I wasn't she was getting 21, 21 from she her. She was 21 pushing 30. Th that's the vibe. And that's I'm only her. taking this from your gram. Yo, she was 21 right? pushing 30. So were you surprised at when, when, you, when some of those things like, you know, the, the, the insecurity comes with that 21. It I know. It comes with that. I know. I know. And that's what it is. Hey, I tried. You know what was I'm that the first girl you dated in that in that age bracket? I, I got a lot of I had a lot of young yeah, chicks, but they wasn't okay. my girl. I've only had like four or five girlfriends that I mm -hmm. said that's my girl. Mm -hmm. You know, you could get you could get smashed, but you ain't my girl. You know what I'm saying? This is good talk. Yeah, you nice can get smashed hot, right? if you want to talk that. Like, yo, we could have a good relationship. We could go places or whatever. We could do things and we could have a lot of fun. But to meet Nini, 
You ain't gonna meet me. I love the me. airline. Airline tickets is great. Yeah, I love yeah, Let's yeah, go. Yeah, first class. Oh, you're Clizzy. I know you're a Clizzy. I'm super Clizzy. But listen, who 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 cares? You know what I'm saying? It's like Buck, man. I'm, listen, a, I'm a tough. I'm about, How does it, wait, 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 I listen, like having fun. What about fun. when you take a girl in that Clizzy for the first? <laughs> <laughs> It's sick of what? Oh God, he it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, that Clizzy, it's like it is what it is. Have some more muffins. Have yeah. a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Have some more muffins." Have some more. Get How a drink. Nah, no, they got <laughs> choices in <laughs> <of> breakfast, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I shouldn't be bringing this the devil. Oh. I'm bringing the devil out of my guy. Have a cocktail, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is crazy, yo. Wait, should we crazy. get on the cab line? We got car oh, service. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> I think that's a sign with your name on it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're joking. On that note, we're joking, yeah. Twenty seventh, we're joking. We're just twenty seventh. Twenty seventh, just late. We're just men in our late forties joking. Twenty seventh, and hey, I want, I want. Maria I want, wasn't like that. I want, I want everyone. I want my artists to introduce themselves, yo. I got, I got my man Boogie Bird in the yes, motherfucking yes, building. Yes. Y'all may have been nope. hearing his record flex. He's been playing his the We Need good joint. Record, good record. You know what I'm saying? Which is, which is going with that concert we need. The reason why I like that record, a little more liquor we need. Just a couple more hoes. We are on a whole lot of drugs and we up. And you can't bring us down. But when he said that line when he was in the studio, he, I said, did you just say we need a couple more hoes? Who don't need a couple more hoes? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. That was a fact. God, he's on a fact. This. Maria, God, he's on this on his own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know when he first said that, there was a look in my eye and it got all crazy for about <laughs> 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Bro, yeah, you chilling. Guys out here single. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm you chilling, But yo, big up to Ashley. I still got love for. Her. I wish no, nothing but the best. You know, she's a she's a really great girl with me. No, again, it just ended. It's the only time in my relationship it ever ended where I'm like, it was still. There's no hanky panky anywhere. It was no, no hanky panky. Not, not now though. But... I, I didn't cheat on her. She didn't cheat Nobody on me. You, we enough. we text and stuff like that. But I can't. Like she's crazy. Mm. Her craziness ain't gonna stop. When she come back, she gonna be like, who you? When you, you going up to Flex? Who? What bitch is gonna be up at Flex? You gonna Wait, fuck you her, hate you? What you mean? Her? I met her when she was with Taz Angel. Oh, that team was pretty hot out there. Yeah, and I, I wanted to work with it her. It was hot. Listen, I wanted to work with her. Like, I, I, I identified a star in her when I seen her. And then when she left so Taz. So she sings, she's an artist. She's an artist. So she she's sings. an actress. Yeah. I made records with her and shit like oh, that. Oh, you have songs. I have a few. I have a few flex. You know what I'm saying? And she's a star. Wait a minute. I still think Christina she's a Christina Million was signed to you. No, she was never signed to me. We just did records for her, and then after the Between Me and You record and Job yeah, Blew Up. Yeah, Def really? Def God, Def not Gotti. Yeah. That wasn't me. You, Gotti. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going. <laughs> wasn't me. Big guy. Big shout I, out to I Christina I was like, Million. why? He, this That's out of homie. nowhere. That's my homie. All right, all right, all right. Wasn't me. Wait. <laughs> She was up your alley. Oh, Christina Milian was a What's certified no? banger, y'all. Uh, she still is. Yeah, I was like, no, I was no, like, no, what? No, no, certified. Yeah. She wasn't signed to your label? No, she was signed to Island Def Jam and after between. You were exec in the project. They was going to let me exec it. She was but did never it ever come out? Record. Never. She never put out an album. We made a record for her. They tried and the, the dots didn't connect. I don't but even she know. was never signed to me. They were just going to give me PC if her shit went. If it moved. Yeah, but she wasn't murdering. She wasn't okay. murder rank, murder rank like that. Nah. Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd. What is what's is he still is he still with you around you? Do you still no, talk to him? No. Lloyd, you know, I like his cousin Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Uh That's his cousin? Yeah. Ryan, Ryan Lou Leslie? No, not Ryan Leslie. He's a light skinned dude from New Orleans. But Lloyd, I don't want to say I don't want to speak bad on him or whatever. You know what I'm I saying? don't think he ever spoke, but I didn't feel like Joy he spoke. did. Yes, I he never, did. I didn't, I never got Bugatti. I never saw it. Joy did. You know what I'm saying? It, now, when you say thing, bad, my when you say bad, Lord is was I, it? I let him go. I could have been a bastard with my artists. So if, if you're listening, I could have been a records, bad the guy. The big records were on your label. Of course, of course. 
Uh, yeah, but so I'm saying, I never heard him talk bad, guy. Did he? Did, was it a long time ago? What was his? What was his issue? Was it he didn't want to be signed? Did he feel he didn't make I don't enough know money? His issue, yo. I gave that kid everything he wanted. I supported him. I believed in him, and you know what I'm saying. I helped take him to, you know, platinum plus. I don't know. So when I felt like Universal Motown wasn't the right situation and we wasn't gonna win or whatever, so he and was. I uni- went so he was Universal Motown. He wasn't Def Jam. Yes, he was. He was. Yeah. So when it when it took time and I like wanted to exit and just thing, I let them all go. They was all under my contracts. So if they wanted to deal, say Interscope had signed them, they dropped them since I think, but Interscope signed them. I could have been a bastard. Mm-hmm. I can just say Interscope could you I have, didn't even know he give me a million dollars. He put he put records on. He put records out over here. Yeah, he put records out with 50 Cent. I don't even, my nigga, I don't even <laughs> remember that. Yeah, they was calling them Disloyal Lloyd. I swear to God, I don't even remember. I didn't even. That wasn't those really. Those records good. didn't hit, though. Absolutely not. Duds. But, 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 <laughs> but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that wasn't even the thing. He just started, when I let him go, he was saying things like I held him back and he, he just was, was, was shitting on me. And I gave this kid everything, yo. But and I let him go when I could have said, him, "Give me old, a million old, dollars." How old, how old was he? Like seventeen, eighteen. I want to tell you, Gotti, you you see, and I'm gonna say, Lloyd was a big star. I'm gonna say it in front of y'all too, because I want to set a tone in here. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'm gonna set a tone. Shoot, you know the millennial thoughts. Because uh-huh. millennials, right? You know what I'm saying? Young guys, young. Dang. You know the millennial thoughts sometimes. I'm not saying artists in the room, but it's like they feel old. They, like, like, like there's, there's that uh, entitlement that exists that didn't exist when, you know, prior years. Might be right. There's that entitlement of. I couldn't explain it. Because I don't want to say error. You. I, a Jay Z, a fucking Nas, a Puff Daddy, to this day, and anybody, a Snoop can will admit that was a bad album. Sometimes, you know, I've heard all of you say it on on different occasions about your own material. Yeah. A new nigga. Don't say that. It's never. He never says. I had a bad album. My my new nigga is, is gone. My new niggas ain't gonna be, be that, like that. They, they don't have an album yet, so they're clear. No, but I tell them. I'm like, but you, but you know, but you know, guy, like you gonna make that, another record. And Lloyd kind of fell into that. Yeah, but he that went platinum millennial plus. thought. Right? What is he now? You got to be twenty. I don't know, twenty and change. He was yeah. young when I signed him. But yeah, but that's all like, I'm saying is the all, nigga all he had to do for me and him to be. cool. I'm not surprised that he said all that. he had to do for me and him to be cool was just be like, yo, Gotti. All good, love him. That was that chapter. I'm on to this. I wouldn't have said nothing. I'd have been like, cool. But when you start throwing things, I'm not editing and saying anything things, on this interview I don't. Listen, when we when you start saying things and stuff like that, and I'm like, nigga, what? Now was a, uh, was Ashanti's energy always good? Because I always felt it was. When, Ashanti's energy. When 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 when, when the when, feds when, hit and, the, and when the feds and Nelly hit, she was a different person. She she flipped on me. Now, Gotti, I want to be a hundred. And this is the, this, I would be scared. I would. Like, that's what people say. They say, why? "Give her a pass." It's the feds, yeah, my nigga. Because, it's the feds, the feds, my nigga. Then, you know, see now with this internet, you can put in feds, and you get a nice description of what the fuck's going on. <laughs> right. Back then, bro, I don't even think Wikipedia exists. So, nah, that but feds, listen. I don't know what the fuck it meant. Listen. Are they outside? I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say there was that there, there, oh. with, with Ashanti there was personal things said between me and her that made me like I'll I'll never probably look at her the same way mm-hmm. because she said things that I felt I deserved more from someone who I did so much for for her to say the things that she said. I didn't feel and it didn't look like any weird energy from outside. I'm asking because you said Lloyd uh, it did felt smooth to me. Lloyd was not smooth, uh, and Ashanti was definitely not smooth. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? It was like when I go for somebody, I go hard. So for them to to say and do things, I'm like, what, nigga? I'd have jumped in front of a bullet for you. Now like, Gotti, I, me is not me. Even as much as I knew you, <laughs> my nigga, I knew you. Like I, you know, we taught music. <laughs> like when crazy. I was reading that paper, bro, I was like, whoa, well, well, with the Fed shit. I, I was like, I look. You know, God. You thought I was guilty. Well, you said he made it. No, I got it. I'm going to be so low. Look, I know. It's the fans. No, it's not the Gotti. I knew my brother. All of us know each other's background. 
mm-hmm. some way, somehow. And, you know, we do what we uh, not just always need to do, what, we, what we're exposed to, what, we're, what we learned, or whatever. We're, look, we, when you're in the hood, things are said, not said, but you see the things and then you follow suit sometimes. It, 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 it don't, when the, when the shit's going on, it don't look nuts. It's when somebody, when somebody describes it back, you go, damn, that is what maybe was going on, but we didn't think it was that. I'm just like I'm talking about people in the hood. I so, it. so I always knew you were successful. I always knew you understood music. I always knew you knew how to find artists, and and I did know Preem was your dude, my brother. You know what I mean? Like like so in the paper, man. in the paper, in, in 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 what was being said, you know, when you're reading about Irv Gotti, you're like, well, I know his brother. I know Gotti. I know you know he run with Supreme. I know these niggas was making <laughs> records. I know that they Kate got bigger when Massive. they was when they was moving. So it was the, coming in. They were the, shipping yeah, it in. Yeah, and the uh-huh. only thing and Gotti, look, I knew you was no punk in the street. So you know, I know you Never had that. your weight. So so the only thing that every that you were really looking for us to turn our back on was the final part, which was the money laundering. Yeah, but right, it, but but. In seeing it, mm-hmm. you know, it looked bad. It, it, no, no, not not bad, but it looked like it's this. I know that this success, this music, this bread, there's 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 street muscle here, <laughs> like you know. You were strong. So you know, like like the 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 part that you're that God, you're asking to say, yo, but I need y'all to see clear of. The, the the laundering was was it was hard. Hey, look, that's the, I didn't do it. No, I know you. You know but, what I'm saying? But like, but, like, I, but it was. I you know what I'm saying, though, Gotti. It wasn't. I didn't do that. But, you understand? But, yes, but it wasn't a clear. We know other teams that come from the Bronx, that come from Brooklyn, that come from and and who have been convicted <laughs> of such, yeah. had to tighten it like that, yeah. and it it was true. In other situations, not yours. That's them. That ain't me. But that was that was part of. It was hard. It was because Gotti. Look, I'll keep it a buck. I was probably a little distant. I'm yeah, keeping, everyone. I'm was. keeping it. You know, we what's into, nigga, I was. You, what's that in the Peanuts cartoon? Is a dude who he has a, a dark I think cloud. We used he, to, pin, pig, pig pin. And you used to. Yeah, call I was me. Pig pin, to, I think a couple times you called me. Said, you know, I, I know I got I got all this on pig pin, yo. But I got a record. <laughs> I am pig pin. But I do you. Do you hold it with Lloyd and with Ashanti and with anyone else? Do you hold anything against them for not standing by you? Do you feel like it was kind of? Do you feel like they should have? That's just me. Were you it's mad at Leo? Were you opinion. upset at Leo at the time? Leo was there. He was with you. He he came to court. He was there. You know he couldn't give me no bread or whatever. I was mad at Leo when he left and went to Warner Brothers. I was mad at Leo for that. Cause I was in the midst of the 50 thing. I'm like, yo, you gonna, how you gonna leave me, yo? Like, I need you here. We gotta ride. We gotta, we gotta battle. We gotta fight. And he left. You know what I'm saying? But like, I was a little thing because it was an interesting time in my life where is I got to see who people really were. I seen everyone. But you know, Bugatti, man. I understand Bugatti, it's the feds man. or whatever like Not that. Not even the feds. It's like. But I seen I seen everyone. Yo, I, you want me to keep on? I used to see you on TV, guys. <laughs> I swear to God, it was a point I was like, are they gonna say these niggas got thirty bodies in the building? Like you, you looked, you didn't know what was gonna be said, bro. Like, and then, and then you, it, it was a day by day. Like niggas is like, okay, they're in court today. The film, you're like, yo, you got thirty bodies then, in it. Yeah, you, and then you know what the. See, remember the rumor of the Fed, Scotty, is that was the first time the mold was broken. It was always understood. Fed's got a case. They got a case. I'm going to tell it, you. That was the first time I ever saw it get yeah, smashed. But I'm going to tell you, Fed's got like a 97% percent conviction rate. Now, right? when you when you when when I saw you on the two I'm and not being not guilty, I was but like. Listen, listen, I'm going to tell you why. He, he must Because everyone pleads. Mm. They offered me, what, like eight months? They offered me and my brother eight months. They said, you could do your eight months. He could stay and run the label, and then he'll do the eight months when you come out. They offered a sweet deal. Nah, hold up. Rightfully, rightfully, and with all due respect, I said, eat a fucking dick. Now, would you still do it the same way? Would you I still... was facing 20, yes, because I didn't do it. So you were still, you I didn't do still what the fuck that they were saying. Would and you I, still make the... Would you, and, would you still not take the plea? Now, listen, and... Hell no. 
<laughs> and because I felt they had bigger plans. If they get me on a conviction and I plead guilty for money laundering, so I'm saying that I money laundered. So one, that now crushes Prem. Also, mm, yeah. because now I'm basically saying he gave me drug dealing proceeds. You understand? It solidifies. It's, it makes their case against him ironclad. Mm. But here's what they're going to do. They got him on all of these different bodies and everything like that. So if I'm money laundering, I'm co-conspiring. They're coming with another charge. Mm, got it. Racketeering, Rico, all that dumb shit that they rap about. They'd have said, we got him sitting down for that eight months. We, we told him it's all good. And in that eight months, we're going to hit him with this, 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 and this. Probably. Do you do you and Supreme still combo? My brother, absolutely. And you and you get and you go. Do you absolutely. I do. I do. I did nothing wrong with Prem. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know I did nothing wrong. He's my man. You know my man is. Is this, he working is on? An, is he working on any appeals? I think all of that is exhausted. He exhausted every chance. Okay. Yeah. So he's he's uh, you know it's all good. Well, it's not all good. Let me not say it's all good because it's not really all good. But it's the best know, it could be. He's still a part of me. He's still a part of Murder Rank. He's still a part of all this shit from inside. So you know what I'm saying? He and it's the weirdest shit because here's a guy sitting on double life, and when he calls me, he's got he's the happiest nigga, mm. and lifts my spirits. And all he wants me to do is win. He just be like, kill him, God, he win. And he said, when you win, we all gonna win. You know, I went and visited him at Florence Admax. Florence Admax is the worst jail in America it's in Colorado Springs you gotta g fly to Denver and then drive like three hours in cornfields <laughs> so it's in the middle of nothing Hoping but the shit was crazy right convict. listen the shit was crazy cause, Nuts. cause uh, uh, Pappy's in there Larry Hoover's in there it's like guys like that and they, they riot they rioted when I came when I say they rioted the you were in the, you was were like in the Pap, building? he was you like Pap it? spit in the guard's face and was like, he spit in his face and was screaming Prem and Gotti. And I said, why are they riding? Cause I, I'm like, I, I, I'm not like that. You know what I'm saying? Why are they riding? And he was just like, you know, we'd have forgotten cause no one comes to visit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he says the fact that Irv Gotti is in Florence Ad Max to see Prem, he said they turned that jail upside down. Now, that's why I get a lot of love to the nigga Larry you Hoover. In there when it was going on? No, they calmed it down by the time I think, but the, the security had told me, like, yo, who are you? It was a white dude. He was like, who are you? I'm like, you know, I'm Ir was Irving story? Lorenzo, right? DJ and he, Irv. I was DJ Irv, and he was like, yo, they 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 rioted. I don't know if you could come, because I, when I go see Prem, I see him Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So he's like, I don't know if so they're going to you. So three you. Three days. Three days. And you go and you. Three days. And me and him sit and talk, laugh, joke, the whole shit. It has to be. That has to be very hard, like to be out someplace so far. And that's why they ride it, cause no one goes to visit them. You literally got to catch a plane to Denver, and you got to get in a car and ride like three hours. And you're riding three hours, and it's these big cornfields that's like 12 feet high, and it's mm -hmm. your road, and you stay on that fucking road for like two hours. Mm -hmm. It's the illest shit ever. Now that you're, there's nothing there. It's three jails. They're surrounded by. I'm like, even if you escape from there, right? Nigga, if it was three hour ride, you got fucking like a day in the cornfields. <laughs> now that you're officially back in the music business, yes, and and you have your own artist sign and it's Murder Inc. 300 Entertainment. When you look Shout out, to Kevin when you look Neal. out at the music business, and there's artists that you see, who do you feel you could lend a helping hand to? Well, me. When I you look, when you look out, I'm, I'm I'm cocky with with my abilities in the music industry. So I feel I could help everybody. Mm. I, but, but, I feel but, but any you're, but, nigga. That you like in your heart, though, that you already like. You know what I mean? Drake like, don't need no help, but I would love to work with him just because he's so talented. I tried to help Meek, but he's a hard-headed Philly nigga, so he don't really listen to nobody. You know okay. what I'm saying? But this is before the beef or whatever. I really, that's why when they was beefing, they saw beefing, I said, damn. Because I like, I like both of the dudes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when Meek Mill had first came out with I'm a Boss, it reminded me of DMX. That energy and somebody was like, and he had hey. that record would come on. And then when he dropped intro, it was like, what the fuck, nigga? That shit lasted for two years, mm. right? So, I, I I wanted to help him, but he don't want no help. He 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 he's he's a hard headed Philly nigga. You know what I'm saying? He don't want no help. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna beg a nigga or keep coming around a nigga. After a while, I'm shutting the fuck up. 
that, now, <laughs> you know what I'm now, saying? Are there artists that, that you've seen that, in, that, in that one record stage, that first album stage that you like? I mean, there's a lot of talent out. You Who know what you like? I really like right now, and I think it's a genius, pure genius, 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 Travis Scott. Mm-hmm. Once I found out that that nigga's making his own records, like when I listen to his music, I'm blown the fuck away. Good and the music. way he does vocal production, the way he does beats and music, and how he's bringing it all together, that nigga's a fucking, he's a monster. Travis Scott is a certified monster. I do monster. see some similarities, even though he's maybe skyrocketed past him a little bit, but I did see some similarities between him and ASAP Rocky. When, uh, and with Travis? And see, but I, I don't see that similarity because ASAP don't do his shit. Like, Travis is making them records, man. So yeah. I get he's, you, you, he, you, he's you, on a different plane. Travis don't need nobody. You just stick that nigga in the studio and he going to serve niggas. <laughs> ASAP need a few people. You know what I'm saying? He going to need a little help. You know what I'm saying? I would like to see you work with ASAP Rocky. I would love to work with ASAP like Rocky. I would love to work with Dave East. Uh, I think Dave East is one record away. Uh, he got the hose on him like re- ridiculous. This, He's one record away from being awkward big. This Dave East movement. Feels so crazy. Yeah, he to so he gutter. gotta come with a record though. He gotta just come with a record, and it's like sometimes he's dealing. He wants to make a hardcore record. Where she make the rap record, the the radio record. So he that's that's the maze that he's in. You know what I'm saying? But if that nigga drops fucking a record, it's you over. Got something for him? You got you got something to give him? Yeah, but he. I mean, I'm gonna make the call. Listen, you don't have to make you the call. Did, we were talking once. I'm t- yeah, we talking I, once I'm trying. But Your Davies, you know, I wrote listen. you, my brother. I'm sorry. Listen. They don't. Dave, no, my goodness, you sent me. I sent I you forgot. a joint. I forgot. I forgot. Dave East, Irv Gotti sent me something to give you, and I forgot. I didn't remember till now. No, I, I wrote didn't send you. him to give it to you. Yeah. I just wanted to see what you thought of it because you I said, said and, you, and you said, could you hear him on said, this? Yeah, and, and you I said, could. yeah, I like the joint, and he didn't God. do it. No, 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 no. I didn't. I, I fucked up. I didn't give no, it to him. No, he had it already, Flex. Oh, he had it. Yes. I know he had it. But you know it's all good. I love Davies. He got a he got a great vibe. And I'd love to see you know it doesn't him. matter if I work with him. He could figure out that maze on his own. You know what I'm saying? But he's in that maze. But he's someone that I feel once he comes with a record, it's bye bye. I want to see. And he's also someone that I feel because he's a, authentically a New York nigga. Mm. He's one of them Harlem flashy Harlem niggas, right? So, but he got a vibe that if he came with a record, he could kind of bring the swell back to the city. Correct. He could. He's like I like I like A Boogie a lot. I like A Boogie. Too. I like A Boogie. I like Don Q. I like um, Casanova. I like um, Young M A. Um, of course, the Fabulous is Fabulous. I I always love. Right. Um, I'm try- You know what? I like a lot of kids in Jersey. Is it? Is it? Uh, I like Tax G. I like. Uh, Al be Al. And what's the other young man? Uh, ja, 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 Jabbar Hakeem. Jabbar Hakeem. There's a lot of uh, interesting talent. I like Annoyed from Connecticut. Uh, there's a lot of the Tri-State has, uh, I think, I feel I feel the energy, Herb. I feel it. it it's milling. It, it, Still, it, someone got to come through. See, because New York can't be good. New York is thing missing York, like, Chris no. Lighty, Irv Gotti. Yeah, it's I, I missing understand. the the uh, the tutelage, the 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 tutelage, and the, I don't even know if that's the right word, but it's missing that. They gotta listen. Learning though. process. They gotta listen. Well, and yeah. they don't want to listen to the old nigga. I'm the old nigga. No, but you Who know what? It, you, I know, know. You, you know what? You know what? You know what's missing. Like I think Chris Lighty was instrumental with Fifty Cent. In in the in the you know I think every time you look at a big person who came along, you know you were still in that Def Jam building where you saw uh, an energy, you know. When I went from Loud to Def Jam, and Kev Lyles was in his office, you'd have Red Man sitting with his song to play, Method Man. You'd have to fight for time, yeah. and I remember it was like, blood sport, yeah. Yeah, and I remember I'd have to get <laughs> you my weight come up. with some shit, nigga. And and, and and now, and the thing is too, in a Kev Lyle's office, other niggas hear you playing your shit, so now you gotta, you know, it was a competitive thing, and I don't feel like that, that thing is is, is happening with the with the artists, you know, the Travises of the world and those guys. I think and the Drakes, I think they know how to do the whole package on their own. Mm-hmm. 
you know, I, I don't know. I think that that is what's missing from New York. And to be honest, rest in peace to Chris Lighty. I have felt it in the city after Chris passed. I feel like he was one of those kind of last hip hop management Mo Higgins. Oh, for sure. And, and Chris Lighty was very good at telling you that shit is trash. We gotta say, I gotta send an RIP to my man Ice Pick. Yes, you know, uh, rest in peace to Ice Pick. Yeah, that, it came out of good nowhere. Heart. I hate cancer, yo. I fucking can't stand cancer. Good heart. And, uh, you know, RIP, all my Rough Riders, y'all know what it is with me, how I'm with y'all to the end. And, you know, RIP to my man Ice Pick J, man. Yes. And, God, yeah, I appreciate your time. I know you shared a lot of your personal business today. <laughs> I know I was in your business. I know you didn't think I was prepared. Hello, say, say what's up. Say you didn't think I was prepared. Yo, what's good, man? This Dallas half of the circle, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's that it's new Dave artist Bo. energy. That's look, 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 look. They both one half of the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They single was low for me, and they predominantly featured in Tales. And I got, I got my lady over here. Go ahead and let the world know who the fuck it is, what the fuck it is. <laughs> what's going on, New York? It's your girl Alexa here from Long Island, New York, singer, artist, writer, entertainer. It's lit. It's murder. It's lit. <laughs> and let me tell you something, man. These three artists, these three people, I mean, these four people, they got me back energized. They got me back running in the studio. They got me back thinking and plotting. And y'all going to hear a lot from them coming up with the relaunch in the Murder Rink. I got the Irv Gotti Presents music inspired by Tales, and they're all on that album. And again, June 27th, Tales. I'm telling you, it's going to fuck the whole world up. And Flex, I can't thank you enough. You know what I'm saying? We caught up for the years, we bro. We caught hey. up for the years, and it's all good, and I can't thank you enough. You've always been there. Make you know what I'm saying? Music. Always support. I like getting that call from you because, you know, Gotti, you didn't call me in between that about music, and I know if you call about something, you're working on something. And it's re I, watched yeah. it, I watched it piece together. First, I was like, well, what record he got? Then I look at the gram, I'm like, all right, oh, 300. Oh, I got all oh, New York. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I pieced it all together as it was no happening. Doubt. No doubt. But, yo, you know how we do. I don't even think do. there was a label situation. I didn't. I don't think anyone has it, it a label situation. It, listen, it fell in my lap because Kevin Leo, to their credit, they know who I am. They came down. Kev came down to Atlanta. He heard some records and was like, oh, shit. Where do you, Gotti, do you still live in New York? I'm like bi-coastal. You know, I'm here. I'm in. Miss it? I'm, I'm in, yeah, I do miss it. You know, I, I haven't been home for like five months. I've been in Atlanta because that's where I'm making it because they give you that tax incentive. You know what I'm saying? So that I'm, I got to I gotta be in Atlanta. That's where the work is. But I got a crib in L.A. I'm, I'm all over the place. But I love, you know, I, I love New York. I'm, I'm New York to the heart. You know what I'm saying? So, but I love L.A. too. I like being out there because the TV world and the film world is out there more so than here. So, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm New York, man. I'm Hollis Queens, man. I'm Hollis fucking Queens. They man. see us. <laughs> Hi, I, I kept you for a long time. Yeah.